three whole days since I've streamed. And I'll tell you what. Shut the fuck up, music, okay? Chill. Also, hey. I've been a little under the weather. Uh, once again, I believe what has happened is someone in my house got COVID and then I got a cold. Uh, so far. So, that's kind of what's happening right now is, um, over the weekend, someone in my house got the, got the virus. And I either, again, have the virus or I don't, and I just have a cold. But I'll tell you what, it does not change my life in any way other than I just have some horrible congestion as always. So, who cares? Aside from the fact that, like, if I <clears throat> am clearing my throat, I'm sorry. Uh, there's not really much I can do about that. I try to mute through it, but, uh, sometimes, sometimes this comes through. But yeah, we're gonna do, uh, I was gonna do, I was gonna come back after three days and play Minecraft again, but I decided I wouldn't do that. I changed my mind on that one, I changed my mind. So instead, we're gonna do this today, because I've wanted to do the... Good choice, go fuck yourself. All right, I didn't do this for you. <laughs> Make no mistake. I did not do Minecraft because I was worried about any of you getting sick of Minecraft. That was that was never the call. <laughs> that was never the decision. Uh, I just wanted to work on a little bit more something I'm doing with Lawman and Juniper on Minecraft before I actually stream it again, so. LOL, dude! This streamer panda, he, he makes his streams for me, dude. Good choice, bro. Good choice, dude. I, I would've I would have stopped watching, bro. <laughs> you did one more Minecraft stream, you're gonna be a Minecraft streamer, dude, and then I was out of here, bro. That would have been it, dude. I would have typed slash ban on myself. I would have got myself out of here. But yeah, there will be more Minecraft this week. I'm having fun playing it, and uh, I, like I said earlier, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the more time I spend playing that and enjoying myself and streaming it while enjoying myself, uh, the more the larger my backlog gets of stuff that I can stream when I uh, am done playing that. So I really do not care. I really just do not care. So. Uh, yeah, it's kind of what I'm looking at right now for that, but I'm also simultaneously like again I've got I've got like a nasty cold right now. I'm not feeling a hundred percent I'm feeling good enough to do this. I don't know how long Faith as a full product is now So I wouldn't mind it if someone like has that has played this can like give me like a hey Chapter three is this long, because that's like the new content, is all the stuff from the third part. Uh, and I don't know how long that is. So I'm like kind of trying to figure out right now if I'm doing the whole game all the way through again. Chapter three is like two hours. Because I wanted to do all three again, because it's been like a couple years since I played the first one. And I, I think it's been like three years since I played the first one, like two years since I played the second. So I kind of wanted to do the whole thing again. All three would be six pro- It does not take two- Did they extend the old chapters? Because one is not that long. No. I'm not gonna do marathon, I know it doesn't save. But one's not that long. And two was like only like two- Like maybe an hour and a half last time. One's like 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to be doing a stream for longer than four hours today, I don't think. I, I think that's kind of like where I'm at right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I would like to do all of them just so the plot's all there. But I'm not going to do like the... One will also not be as long because I'm not going to do like the five endings. I'm going to do the one ending, whatever one I get, and then we're going to the next part. 
You think I? You think I have a million years? You think I'm? You think I'm immortal? I'm not dying. So many streamers playing Gotham Knights heard it was bad. Feels bad, man. LOL. Imagine Warner Brothers being able to make a good game. Warner Brothers is attached to it. Oh, well, it must be fucking steamy. That must be some real trash. Yeah, no, I had no doubt. But, um, hey, I mean, if people are enjoying it, then more power to them to enjoy it. More power to them. Good for them, man. Not for me. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely not for me. Germa liked it. Hashtag sponsored stream. Get that bag, dude. Get out there and get that bag, man. Get out there and get that bag, man. It's not like Twitch wants to give us money anymore. <laughs> it, in, in the post Twitch newsletter world, as I've started to call it, the post newsletter realm. Uh, it's, uh, the, I, I care less about sponsored streams, I think, across the board. We're in this together. And God knows Twitch's ads don't sell products for some reason, uh, because we don't make much money off of those either in the grand scheme of things, unless you do an incentive and spam your audience for six minutes on the hour for it. So, I mean, sponsorships are just the only option for some people. Being mad about sponsor streams is kind of crungo. I think my logic with sponsor streams a lot when it comes to streamers is that I think that sometimes uh, it does get a little obnoxious if a streamer has like five sponsor streams in a row, but that's really rare that that happens. And that's like the threshold where I'm like, okay, this person is a paid, like this is paid programming at like 3 a.m. accidentally on like channel 231 right now. And it's been going for the last three days. So like that's kinda like that's kinda like my thing all the time is this is infomercials now. But like I paid a stream here or there. I don't mind. I don't watch them. I don't watch sponsored streams. I also choose most of the time to not participate in sponsored streams that are multiplayer with my friends because I'm I don't want to sell a product I'm not making money off of selling. But uh that's just me. And if they do invite me to their sponsored stream, they better know that unless I'm getting some of that bag, I'm gonna talk about all the bullshit in that game and take them down a couple pegs, okay? And I will. I will, I will do whatever it takes to secure my own bag. <laughs> when, remember when you cheated in Monster Hunter? You said you cheated on Monster Hunter? Uh, on Sam's sponsored stream. Yeah, and he fucking got what was coming to him. And so did so did Capcom, because their game sucks. And requires someone to use Cheat Engine to get past the rampages without tearing their own fucking hair out. So I don't feel bad about that. I probably made more people enjoy their product because they connected the dots that, yes, you can just use a tool to get rid of all the bullshit that they forced into their game. You're welcome, Capcom. You're welcome. Enjoy. More games need to have buttons that say, skip the bullshit. But then I guess they'd only be about two hours long at points. So it's probably why they don't exist. Skip. All my homies hate rampages. I don't want to get back into this. Like, well, they got rid of them. They they didn't exist in the next game. We're good. We're okay. They didn't exist in the in the expansion. We don't need to talk about them anymore. But imagine that button for MGS Ward. They have it. It's called the pause and skip cutscene button. And what you get is a four-hour game. 
They have it. It existed. It literally did. It was skipping the cutscenes. Super Mario Luigi help levels. I... I don't think... Whoever made the Luigi help block bullshit definitely knew that they were just going to make people angrier. Like, I don't think anyone has ever used that thing. Ever. I don't think anyone has ever actually used that fucking block. Like, the Luigi help thing that lets, like, Luigi get into your game. What all it does is make you start frothing at the mouth when Luigi shows up. You just start frothing at the mouth. Because the game's telling you you're not good enough to play its game. It's saying you'll never finish this level on your own. You need help. Thoughts on the new Silent Hill games, Tomato? Look, here's my fucking thoughts. Konami thinks that they have us fooled. <laughs> Listen here, Konami. I saw, I remember what you did. I remember what you've done time and time again. And when I see your name on a product now, I, sh I, I shudder. I shudder. Okay? And I start shaking. I start thinking about, hit the lever! Hit the lever! Hit the lever! And then fuck it. And then I see Bloober Team. <laughs> Lena ran up to me during while well, we were playing Minecraft and she was like, check out the Silent Hill thing. And I was like, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, she she left out while she was hyping it up that it was made by Bloober team, dude. <laughs> because because God bless her for being so excited. But if she had been like, and it's being made by by Bloober, I would have been like, oh, good. Konami, like, fucking stumbled behind, like, a back alley and grabbed Bloober, the just fucking... Uh, uh, uh. Bloober. Not Bluebird. I would say the D if it was Bluebird, you fool. Bloober. Or the people that made fucking Layers of Fear. <laughs> they are... They are... They are... They have... They have a... They have a... 50-50 hit and miss record. <laughs> they've, they've had some hits. Well, actually, I would say they've had one hit and quite a few misses. Uh, and I can tell you what the one hit was that they uh, did. It was Observer, I think. I think Observer was good. I think Observer was better than some of the other ones that they've made. But... Holy heck. Aside from Observer, their, their track record with... Look, and here's the thing, is that, yeah, Observer was good, but now they're making a Silent Hill game, and you know what Silent Hill's gonna be. You know what Silent Hill's gonna be. Silent Hill is gonna be the same kind of shit they were doing in stuff like Layers of Fear, which is that... Walking simulator style bullshit. I feel like it's just going to be super, super lame and uninspired. Because at least Observer was isolated from any kind of, you know, franchise. They could do their own thing, and then they did. They did their own thing, and it was interesting. But like, I think they're just gonna end up making something kind of, kind of boring with it now. I don't know. I would have I would have preferred to see it in anyone else's hands than Bloober. Cause God. Bloober's track record is Blair Witch. The Blair Witch game. The famously average Blair Witch game. Look, it's just here's the thing. I what's worse than a bad horror game is I think a painfully average horror game. Okay, and across the board, there's one thing I will call Bloober, and it's painfully average. I put them in the same boat as, like, that fucking dev team. Which one is it that makes, like, all, the, like, spits out, they spit out 
RPGs like it's nobody's fucking business and sometimes they fucking land and sometimes the the people who made like LX Piranha Bites those guys fucking spit out the ri the risen people they've been spitting out these these Elex games and they're the spiders spiders too the both of those fucking companies do the same thing now where they just spit out games like RPGs and like now I just look at blooper the same way where it's like they spit out like they, they just they just spit out these games and now it's just that now it's just there's a new there's a new coat of paint it's a new franchise that they're using it's a new brand but it's the same underneath it it's the same design they sh what I'm saying is Konami could have saved a lot of money <laughs> by giving it to Chilla okay Eyes on Chilla, folks. Konami could have saved a lot of money giving it to Chilla and letting Chilla do their dirty thing with it. <laughs> let, let Chilla do their dirty, filthy thing with that fucking IP and spit that shit out. And we would have had ourselves a fucking nice game for once. But no. We got fucking bloober. And look, if it ends up being good, right on. I would love to see it be good, but... If there's one thing I know in this world, it's this. <laughs> Konami... is kinda sucks right now. Konami kinda sucks right now. And, um... I get the- I get the weird feeling they don't really care about how this game comes out, or how good it is. Uh, I just don't think they care. Really? I think they're just trying to cash out. So, um... Uh, I think Bloober's gonna give them something that's very Bloober. And then Konami, instead of being like, This is not gonna- People want a silent- A new good Silent Hill. This isn't gonna cut it. Let's go- Let's fucking fix this up. I think Konami instead is gonna do it. Like, they're just gonna take it and be like, This is it. This is it. I didn't have to touch this. Uh, and we got- We got a finished product. Sell it. Cool game. Get it up there. I mean, it's like, at this point, and I don't know, I think I'm in the minority, maybe, here, but, like, Silent Hill 2 is cool and good. Everyone knows this. There's some other hand-picked Silent Hill games that were also good, but a lot of these old brands that Konami had are, I would say, pretty much desiccated corpses at this point. Uh, I don't... I've seen the Silent Hill products that Konami has spat out, even when they were considered a good company to some extent and they were already getting kind of gross out there like all right we had fucking we had the rain one we had like homecoming like these are i played these games i was out there okay downpour <laughs> pt was cool pt is only listen chat pt was only cool and remains only cool and properly interesting and compelling because of the, like, the real-life situation surrounding it. If it had actually been a thing that came out, we may have a very different fucking perspective about this demo of a game. It's, it, it, it's, it wasn't good. It wasn't a game. It was a walking in a circle. The reason it's popular and the reason today that people talk about it is not because of it being some groundbreaking thing. It's because... Everyone's sort of romanticizing this thing that never could be because Konami shot it before it could even run Like so I don't know that's kind of where I'm at I don't think it I don't think it's so impressive that it's like some end-all be-all horror thing like it, it was Interesting, but like a lot of people will go like PT <laughs> But it it's more of a it's more interesting because of the circumstances around it, you know, than it is like, oh, this changed horror games. I'm not saying PT the finished product would have been bad. I'm saying that like this the it was a demo. It was a demo to a game. You know. You're a demo. <laughs> what? What the fuck did he just say to me? 
What the fuck did you just say to me? He can chug a monster energy drink. I just want to see more people yell about games, and that's the all caps message that I say about it. He can chug a monster energy, bro! Paper toilet. Hey, Cirque. What's up? Check, baby. Look, oh my god. I don't think there's a more forgettable fucking game in the last two years than the new Amnesia. Holy shit. I, I forget about it, and I, I think I... Thank God every day when I go to sleep that I did. Okay, I forget about that game every day. <laughs> it's never in my, I can't even remember. What was it, Amnesia Rebirth? Was it Rebirth? I think, I can't even remember if that was the name. To be fair though, I play so many horror games that it's hard to think of the ones that like actually were like, oh, this slapped so fucking hard that I will remember the name of it. Uh, like I usually don't remember the names of a lot of games I play. Uh, so. But I mean, I can tell you on the, like, like off the top of my head, like the games that like the actual horror games that I was like, wow. This was amazing and like totally subverted like it, it totally changed the way I look at the genre like uh, the upturned the one that uh, The one the guy who made a uh, dead cedar made and it steals That guy nailed it. That was like what that was upturned was like one of my favorite horror games I played in the last couple years like for just like Landing the mood same with like inscription although. I don't really think I consider inscription much of a horror game To be honest I don't even know if I really consider Upturned much of a horror game. It was more of a comedy horror. But, God, it was so creative that I feel like I have to give it credit. <laughs> I feel like whenever, like, you discuss horror, you have to give it credit for being, I think, one of the most creative games to come out of the genre in a long time. But, yeah. Then there's... <laughs> Then we enter the Chillaverse. All right, chat, without looking it up, name four Chilla games. Quick. 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 Lots of people froze up on number four because see three is easy four is when you get into the danger zone the, I let me see if I can think bathhouse convenience store closing shift Caretaker <laughs> what, was, what was the name what was, what were, was, was the old guy was it caretaker? Night delivery, that one was the most, that honestly, I didn't finish Caretaker, but I think night delivery was the worst one that I've played. Looking back, Caretaker made me mad and made me quit. Night delivery was literally nothing the game. It, li it was literally nothing the game. Then he went downhill. The store one was his finest. I mean, no, it's not even that one was his finest. It's that like he, he they revealed after the store one that they all they were all the same game all along. That's not the the problem. It wasn't that like the quality dove. The quality was always the same. It's just he they revealed they only had like four tricks. That's kind of like the problem with spitting out games that fast. Is that you reveal you don't you only have so many tricks look not everyone and I, I know I'm gonna toot their horn again here But it deserves to be it deserves to be tooted uh, the dev of uh, 
the uh, the unturned, the upturned, uh, Zekers, they move quick and they got good fucking ideas. Okay, like there you can make games quickly and still put out good fucking shit. You just can't do it every two weeks. Like there, there are devs out there spitting out good shit. It's just like it, it takes like a year to make a good game. It takes like a year. Or at least 45 minutes. Yeah, it takes about 45 minutes to make a video game. <laughs> it takes about it's about 45 minutes to make a video game, and then about a year of Q uh, of, of QA testing. What are your feelings on puppet combo games? Uh, I look at puppet combo the same way I look at Chilla. And that's a, that's a view they deserve when they make games that quickly. Uh, is people to say, this is, this is a, this is a game I'd rent at Blockbuster. Uh, this is not, like, that's kind of like where I'm at. You know, like they, they make some good stuff, but most of the time this is something I would rent at a blockbuster. And that's okay, because I think that's what they're going for. You know, so that's I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel that bad about saying that. They're rentable games. They're the kind of games you'd rent. Uh and that's exactly how their service already works. They have a Patreon and give those games out as a monthly rent. So <laughs> you know, like I, I'm kind of just describing their business uh model. Get game flied. Yeah. But they're good stream games, I guess. That's kind of like, look, I can... Look. A lot of games that are bad for consumers that I wouldn't recommend someone plays by themselves are good games for me. So sometimes my perspective on these things is a little bit tamer or like nicer or... Uh, skewed one way or the other because I'm also looking at them from the perspective of uh, I'm I'm enjoying them because I also have to I get to stream them, you know Which does help sometimes and Cruelty squad was a fun watch Cruelty squad was interesting because I don't think I've streamed a game where I know people left because they looked at it and I and that was cool because those people missed out on what was easily like a game of the year. And I don't know how many times I can say that Cruelty Squad is like incredible and like genuinely like a a masterpiece game. And one of the most creative shooters to come out in the last, like, fucking five years. They didn't have a CEO mindset, is all. Yes, exactly. They didn't have a... They didn't have a CEO mindset. They just didn't understand... Very ugly, in a good way. <clears throat> well, there's, like... Look, I genuinely was like, this game's ugly and pointlessly ugly for no reason. And then you get to the apartment level. And then you're like, wait, this game's not just like, yeah, it's ugly. But like, there is a, there's a level that they do design to look normal. And it then kind of clicks in your head that this game looks ugly for like aesthetic and plot reasons together like there is a plot relevant reason why this game is as ugly as it is and why there are parts of this game that look good and clean and normal at the same time and like then you're like it's ugly by design and then and then like your brain starts like everything eventually makes sense in cruelty squad and that's why i like it so much it's such a unique game god that game's so good I can't wait to like play it again like five fucking years and like have forgotten about all of it.
I was turned off on RimWorld on how simple everything looked. Dude, I I know everyone's like, play the new RimWorld expansion. Fuck you, I won't. <laughs> I thought about it. Not anytime soon, I won't. I fucking won't. I thought about it and that was like last time I played RimWorld, post like a day after the expansion, I, I hated it. I actually loathed it because it was just a bunch of crud. I'll, I'll say what I said last time we talked about RimWorld, okay? And it's this. I don't need, I'm already taking care of babies. The pawns in RimWorld are all grown babies. They're babies, they don't know how to change their own fucking diapers, okay? They literally don't know how. And now you want them to also have smaller babies? That they have to take care of because you know who actually takes care of that. It's like when you get it It's like when a child gets a fucking pet Okay, and the parents like you better feed this I don't want to have to take care of this thing and the kids like yeah, yeah I will I will I, I swear I'll take care of this little guy and then within a week They're bored of it and then I'm like I have to note that the baby has almost starved and then I'm like ah oh, fuck except it did except if I let the baby fucking die, everyone in the entire colony is going to be like, well, this is the worst day of my life. So, I think we had this conversation. If you go back exactly 30 seconds, you'll note the part where I said I was going to repeat this point so that people wouldn't ask me. Uh, but yes. Man, it's like sometimes you guys really do just miss the exact things that come out of my mouth. No one really listens, they just, they just hear, you know what I mean? There's a current issue with biotech where that grown soldiers dying still gives everybody the colonist died. <laughs> Deep buff. Well, dude, cause that's, listen, if I had a guy grown in a vat for two days straight, I'd probably name him the same way I'd name like the fucking, you know those, you know those things you get at like, like little convenience stores, like the, the like, like grow your own Bigfoot or something and it's like a little styrofoam creature and you throw it in the water and it inflates over time. Grow a buddy. Exactly. Like if I had a grow a buddy in a giant vet and I was like, that's freaking, that's, I'm gonna name this guy, like Tristan, Tristan the, the little guy. And then, like, the next day, he's dead. He didn't just stop growing, he stopped living, and he was dead now. I'd, I'd, I'd go minus a hundred, I'd mental break. I'd mental break. They never had a chance. Okay? We had, when we were, uh, when I was a kid, when I was way younger, I think in, like, fifth grade or fourth grade, a lot of, I feel like a lot of schools would do this. They'd have that thing where like they, we're gonna, we're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna hatch an egg. We're gonna hatch an egg and little, little chickens are gonna scamper around. But like, you never, exp you never want that. You, you're never ready for one of those chickens to come out dead. You, you're never ready for one of them to get halfway out the egg and then be like, and I'm done. And they made me wrong. And then die in front of you, and you're like, oh, well, this sucks. And then kids in the class start crying. The teacher's like, I really shouldn't have called everyone over to watch this chicken literally die in front of them. We all watched it die, dude. It was dark as shit. I remember. I remember like it was fucking yesterday. That chicken fucking passed on to the next plane right in front of our fucking eyes. And then the teacher's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, some kids took it better than others. <laughs> that was that was dark. I don't I like literally just remembered that this day, this exact day. Well, time to talk about death. Wrong. Time to frantically run over to the TV in the top corner of the room and turn on Bill Nye. The science guy. That's how you really get past it. And that's what they did. We turned on Bill Nye and we watched it for two hours, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the other babies right before the teacher took 
uh, like frantically took the whole tray away with all the like the like chickens in it. The other hatchlings were like, "This is food, right?" And they started trying to eat it. So like that was <laughs> that was I'm oh I'm remembering it all now, dude. I'm remembering all of it, dude. <laughs> the circle of life can be cruel. It's almost as if it's it's almost as if and maybe I'm maybe this is a controversial take but I don't think anything should be born or die inside of a school. I'm going one step farther, okay? I don't think anything should be it should enter or cease to exist within a school system. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> Is that a hot take? I'm gonna say something controversial today. I don't think anything should be dying or being born into existence within the educational system. I've had enough of it. Sark, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, my friend. Thank you very much. Dude, thank you very much. But my science project. <laughs> Dude, I remember back when kids would like dissect the frogs and obviously, listen, <laughs> obviously no teacher was coming in <clears throat> with live frogs and was like, you're going to have to put this one down yourself. You want to find out what's in it. But like, I, 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 I still, I never died. I never had the fucking, I never had the guts to dissect something, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't. We didn't have frogs, we had uh, pig fetuses. Which I would call, I would say was even worse. But you know what I do remember? I wasn't in like the class when they did it because you had to like actually opt in. I was like, nah, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna hang out in the library and like, I don't know, do homework. Like, because it's an opt-in class. So like you had these sickos that were like, I wanna cut something up. I wanna cut something up. I'm not gonna gain anything. I don't get like points or anything for this, but I want to cut something up. I want to cut a dead thing up. And then they did. And the smell, the fucking smell of it. Holy shit, that smell was vile. The smell of these dead fucking frogs and pigs. These dead creatures that they brought in for like dissection day, they called it. The day where they just fucking totally destroy these dead bodies really bad. Mmm, formaldehyde is a good smell. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> dissection day. It was, it, look, it was bad. It was bad out there, dude. It's not even that bad, IMO. Yeah, but no one asked for your IMO. All right, my IMO is it was bad. Okay, and I'm the one telling the story. The smell was ripe. Sh ban that person. Maybe even ban the word ripe for five minutes. I don't want to hear it. Make sure you unban it though, because God knows that word comes up so much. God knows we're going to need that one. When, when, when we need it most, it'll be gone and we're going to be so sad. Like, honestly... <laughs> uh, I can still I swear, I can still smell it I feel like The worst part was like Yeah you got to opt out of dissection day But you didn't get to opt out of the part Where the teacher was like Alright kids back to class It's over And it wasn't really over motherfucker The part where you did the cutting was over The bodies were strewn around the place As if like it, it truly looked like a small scale, like, like a, like, 
like the Doom Slayer, a small Doom Slayer for pigs had come through and just ripped and teared all of those little fetuses to shreds inside of a biology classroom. It was awful. And they were everywhere. <laughs> And for some reason, and I, I don't know why this was the case. Like, they piled, like, all of the... They had, like, extras. <laughs> what is, must be, it must be really good to be a pig looking down from pig heaven. Or looking up from pig hell. Depending on how horrible, I guess, their soul was. And being like, oh, I didn't even die to be dissected. I died so I could be an extra backup body in case the first one's dead got cut up too bad. So there was just extras and they were on like my table when I got back to the class. Like I actually had a mound of dead pig fetus on my table when I got there. Like a mound, truly a mound. I'd hate to be the guy carrying shipments of pig fetuses to middle schools. <laughs> Holy shit. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. School lunch hits differently. Dude, I... I'll tell you what. To this day... I... Every day at my high school... I ate, I ate chicken patties, dude. I ate chicken patty sandwich. Big fucking mound of ketchup to hide the flavor of the bad chicken. And honestly, man, if you put like 40 of those in front of me right now, I could slam all of them in fucking record time. My like my my conditioned brain as like a teenager being like, I need to finish this food so fast so I can get to the library and like work on like my homework or whatever, because God knows I didn't do it last night. It's in my DNA. It's, it's literally, I didn't learn fucking shit in school. What I did learn was how to eat food really quickly in order to make it. Like, my friends are still sometimes like, how did you, you didn't eat right then. You didn't go, you didn't have time to go to the bathroom or like do something like that. No, I did. No, no, I move, I am the, I, I am a monster when it comes to doing something quickly. Because if I don't finish it quickly, like I'll, I'll, I'll be late to like something else. I can speed run eating. I can speed run like anything. I scurry, man. So powerful. Anyways, I do want to play Faith before, um, before I inevitably start feeling under the weather because of my cold, I'm going to call it for now. My cold. So uh, let's let's start let's start getting into it. Let's start getting into the into the heckin' game. Shut up. All right. World record shortest tomato pre-stream. What are you dumb? My my guy, exactly one stream ago, it was like 10 minutes long. My guy, this ain't the world record. What, you some kind of fool? Listen, can't you see how mad that message just made my entire chat? Look at how, look at that they're outraged. You've made them so mad by saying something so foolish. Oh, fuck. I have to finish what I started. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Oh my god. Hey! The Unholy Trinity, not to be confused with the twin stick shooter that for some reason Twitch thinks this game is labeled under. And will not correct, even though there are two categories, both labeled Faith. 
only one of them gets locked to when you select it. And it's some kind of twin stick shooter. So thank you, Twitch. I'm sure that won't be a detriment to the sales for this game or anything. <laughs> Anyways, so here's the situation. We're gonna play uh, all the way through. We're gonna do all of it. Uh, chapter one through chapter three. We're gonna do all of them. Uh, we're gonna do chapter one pretty quick because it's pretty short. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna do the marathon one. There's one that lets you marathon mode all three chapters in one session. This does not. Apparently, it doesn't give you lives. So if you die, it's over. You died. So um. <clears throat> We're gonna do chapter one, chapter two, then chapter three. I've done chapter one, chapter two, but apparently like some stuff maybe has changed. And also I wouldn't mind just having it all be bundled together. Plus it's been like years since I've played it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it all once more. New game. Confirm. What I'm about to do ain't been approved by the Vatican. Pulls out basketball, dribbles it hard. Pa 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 pa. What I'm about to do to this devil, I don't reckon they're gonna be ready for. Pa 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 pa. About to about to break some ankles. Hello? Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. I don't need that. Follow the road for a little while. Head on down the street, try to figure out where the hell we are. <laughs> I walk like that. It's kind of like more of a shimmy. It's kind of like a shimmy. Kind of thing. Yeah. Oh my god! More this. A hundred percent of players die in this game, according to the achievement. A hundred percent of all players have died playing this game. Not one has walked away unscathed. Alright, so where the hell's this... Where the hell's this devil at? I just want to have a word with them. Where the, where the hell's Satan at? Satan! Oh my fucking god! Oh. Okay. Okay, the... <laughs> the devil was here. Satan! Man, it does not take much to overpower that demon. They must be a weaker, they must be from a weaker plane than I. Because just simply, bah, 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 flashing that thing is enough to send them sprinting away as fast as they can. I cleanse this well of spirits. <laughs> and I got an invitation to your birthday party. Ah, uh, happy birthday, Nate and Jason. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Can I be honest about something, chat? One? One thing has always terrified me in this world as a child, and it was sharing a birthday party with someone else. That's my fucking birthday, all right, motherfucker? And if my parents think they're about to get some bargain by sharing it with another kid, by, like, fucking par teaming up with another fucking like group of parents to like make me share my birthday with fucking like, I don't know, Michael. Go fuck yourself. It's my fucking birthday. Maybe they're twins. Nah, dude, it really happened. It wasn't twins. It would really happen. People would have birthdays on the same day and they'd have their parents be like, let's just have a birthday. Let's just double up this birthday together. Nah, Michael can go to hell and get a new birthday. How about that one? Michael can go to hell. How about that?
This rock's been cursed by the devil. Perhaps this one? Back, Satan! Dude, I'm way too powerful. I, I, it's pretty much, it's, it's, it's honestly pretty fucking badass at this point. Hang on, I saw a beautiful deer frolicking. But nature is so majestic. Oh, fuck. Well, wrong house. What the? I could have sworn I parked my, could have sworn I parked my car around here. Thought my car was parked right around here. I guess. All right. Please let me get in. God, please let me get. This is like game of the year contender right here, Chad. <laughs> Got my keys stolen by the devil. Hello! Hang on. I'm gonna follow that deer. Hey! Stop scaring this deer, can't you see? I'm trying to hang out with them. Hey. Oh. They left. Well, you know, it's not my fault that that freaking piece of shit spider creature scared off the deer. Oh yeah, we gotta, this is cursed. Huh? Said that. Is that me? Did I say that? Chaos. Chaos reigns. Man, my character really has bad knees. He's moving so slow out here. I'm worried about him. Huh. Satan? Satan? Is Satan in any of these? You gotta tell me if you are. I knew it. I fucking knew it. There's a devil in this one. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property. As a historical cemetery, our office has dif has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Anderson. Henderson. State of Connecticut Historical Society. Il Diablo. Oh. Hang on, I saw, I saw two children scampering this way. They may not know that there's some kind of devil in this forest. So I'm going to try to... Hey, get the heck over here. Don't you know there's a, sp there's a giant spider creature? Oh, hang on. This pool is definitely cursed. Do you think I'm an amateur? <laughs> you think I can't spot a cursed puddle a mile away? Yeah, right. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me that they got lost while kicking. While hiking? Yeah, I guess it'd be... If you just said I got lost while kicking, I'd be like, what the fuck? What? While hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing was, just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. <laughs> I see one weirdo in the woods and it's gun time. I escalate. One thing I know for sure. One thing I know for sure in this world is it's my, it's my country, my damn country. All right. Now we're fucking talking. Wait, what's this here? The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. 
That's too long of a name. There is almost no driveway. Trees jet out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the rite, but may seem harsh to the layperson. Is this whole fucking shed cursed? Oh no, di di volo. You're just so weak compared to me. You know, that's the thing about Jesus. Good luck. Good luck getting me like that. You know what I mean? Like, I got the cross. El Diablo can, simply does not stand a chance against the power of Jesus. Where the hell's the house? <laughs> Where, the... Where the hell am I going? Help! Help! It's just looped, help! Oh, fuck! Oh. Some kind of weird... wall thing. Also cleansed. I'm doing this, all these are on- ah! hey. Man, go fuck yourself. How about that, you stupid fucking spider? I already got the checkpoint, idiot. <laughs> I already got the checkpoint, you fool, you freaking fool. You missed a chance. I already, I already got the game saved, you idiot. Yeah, it's over. But the lore? We'll find it again accidentally. Check this out. Bada bing. Bada bam. And... Bada bop, that's the lake. Uh, bada bop, bada bop, right over here. And, no. Hang on. Here we go, here we go. No, no, here we go, here we go. Now, that I've got a good feeling about this one. We got, it's right here. It's pretty much right here now. That's the well. Ah, uh, we're, uh, we're gonna have the, uh... We may have something up. Please fuck off. We, uh, we're gonna have the... You are really pissing me off today. Oh, they dropped something. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. Our representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for the discretion. We will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Now, if I could just go ahead and find that, that stone thing again. If I could just go ahead and stop walking down this exact same tree path. Now, if I could just stop walking in exact circles. That would be ideal. Any day now. Any day now we're gonna find that house and we're gonna be able to finish this. Don't worry. <laughs> there it fucking is, baby. Bye, Jesus. I cleanse you. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. The beast system? I know about a couple of those things. I don't know about the beast system. Oh well. Hi, does anyone know where the house is? That's the shed again. Fuck! <laughs> We're gonna fr- Dear, take me to the house. That's gotta be the way. The deer wouldn't lie to me. The deer's not gonna lie to me like that. 
Okay, the deer fucked off. I'm just gonna keep going north. Who the hell- now who the hell puts their house a 20 mile walk into the woods? Let's just restart from the car. <laughs> now, the trick here is we go back to the car and we restart by going straight up from the car. So we're gonna head back to the car before I get myself lost any farther. Yep. Yep. He lost his car. No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> no, I fucking didn't. Now we go straight north. Now we just go ahead and stop at the house and perform a quick exorcism. And then we'll be good to go. That's the fucking well. Keep going north. Why is he so blue? Uh, um, I'm holding my breath. I don't want to get cursed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably a part of the blue man group. I right, blue man group on the side. All right, here, hang on. We're here. I'm in. Cursed. Nope. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was a guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. <clears throat> because they were a demon! Possessed by sat but possessed by Satan! Uh oh yeah, there is a devil directly behind me. Hello? Just doing a quick cursory look over the place, trying to see if there's any kind of uh, demons inside any of these, uh, any of these, any of these tables. That bed is huge. No, nah, my character is very small. I see someone by the window. They're probably going to smash in and try to break my neck. But I'm going to make sure that the TV is not haunted by a ghoul before I worry about that. Okay. Now, I do believe if I get right at this window, they will... So fucking funny. So, you know, Jesus is no laughing matter. He will break your fucking neck. And he will kill you, all right? You fucking cross him like this. I know Jesus better than anyone. You're gonna fucking laugh at him. He will, he will take you down. Oh, this lovely family portrait is actually cursed by a ghoul. Yep. Yeah, that's a demon. Nate. <laughs> nice picture, Nate. I mean, I know what this is. It's a, uh, it's a fish creature. It's a fish man. Uh, silhouetted in front of the sun. That's not a demon. You can tell it's a ver that's a vertical fish head. See that eyes right there? Vertical fish head looking thing. Looking straight up at the sky. It's a gurgler kind of looking guy. That's not a demon. That's no demon. Now I know demons. And <laughs> that right there ain't no demon. I'm gonna go into the basement. All right, where's my gun? I got. I want to do this clean. All right. Why don't you see? Well, this is why I opened with what I'm about to do is was not permitted by the Vatican. Um, what I'm about to do is gonna get a lot darker than what the Vatican would order. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna clean this place up. Gotta go find my gun first. That's all. Knew it. Oh, yeah, I'm not a fool. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. 
It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. We asked him if he had ever prayed. He said, no, but I prayed to San La Muerte. He said, he, he, he told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some f figures of San La Muerte. And the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. We need to wrap this... I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Oh, boy. All right, well... Uh, any of you guys cursed? Better fucking not be. Okay. Oh, yep. No, we don't like this. Fuck off. She is here. How the hell did I get up here? I was downstairs! I didn't even get to read that note! I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like I, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in another instance, spoke perfect Latin. I called for, I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the ride again. Help! Help! Cleansed. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. This duck is haunted. Oh, fuck! I forgot that I have to actually, like, do the circle around and try to find which one is actually her. And I can't just wait for them to move. I kind of seized up there. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let's fucking get this- let's get this over with. Okay? It's just- it's just a- a demon. It, it can't hurt me. It's just a demon. Toilet's haunted. Hi, that time I wasn't really given the same amount of time to react. Okay, I, I, I don't care about this cutscene anymore. I don't care about the cutscene anymore. I don't care about it. I'm only picking up these notes because I feel like I need them for the fucking, like, ending. Third time's the charm. No, I'm definitely gonna die again, dude. Look at how slow my character is. Alright, come out, you, you, you old bag. Fuck off. Fuck off! I gotta check the room over here. For things to cleanse. Was there not a sprint button? You fucking zoomers, guys. You guys are such zoomers. Always like, I can't do slow! You don't understand the meaning of the word suspense and horrible shin splints. You guys just don't understand. 
You guys don't understand the meaning of the word debilitating gout. Okay? Fuck off. You're too late, you're too late. No, I ain't. I'm going back downstairs. Dude, I'm so fu- It's a perfect every time. God damn, I'm good. I just wanted to get this note. Very good, very good. That's where we keep our gun. We keep our gun up in the attic. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Alfred, Alred, Asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time, finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Alred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my freaking god! Ooh, I have to cough. Ugh, hang on. I don't know. I wasn't drinking enough water, so my mouth was all dry. I'm feeling better now. Yep. Let's get on upstairs and kill Amy with the gun. We don't have it yet, but I, I don't even know if I will get it, but I'll tell you what. Why is everyone under the wrong faith tab? Because Twitch literally doesn't let you pick between two identical named games. And unfortunately, having a one word named game uh, means uh, you're fucked. So yeah, we're all under the wrong tab because that game has a lowercase spelling. So it comes before the uppercase one turns out. <clears throat> Oops. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She... My superior father, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power of the house and her own parents... With their own, uh, yeah, you guys get all that? <clears throat> you guys get all that? I had to go back to that house, the nightmares I'm having, a real, she's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. Everything's gonna be fine, chat. No one's ever died on exorcism. Oh, fuck. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh boy. Oh, uh, it's gonna be fine. My god, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. I mean, I have to. I'm gonna finish what I started one way or another. Get crucified or something. Crucifixed. Get on out of here. The power of Christ compels you and etc. I don't like that. Go away? Aw, oh, fuck right off with that. What is that? What is this? Is this your ghoul? Is this your ghoul? You got a little ghoul helping you now? Oh my god. Fuck off! Oh. 
Well, it looks like most of her face was ripped off. Okay, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's a bunch of bullshit and we both know it. That's a bunch of bullshit and we both know it. Fucking Mortis piece of shit. Bunch of bullshit. Where's my gun? And then you have to dodge the attack. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. Yeah. You know, I just don't know what to say. Jesus is on my fucking side. Throws basketball into your face so hard you fall over. Oh my fucking god! Imagine doing this all in one life. All right, so here's what. We okay, that was much fucking bullshit. We all know that one was. We all know that one was a load of horse shit, chat. Okay, we all know. The thing is, she has to follow this fucking line. Hey, stop. Stop throwing a little tantrum. It's pathetic. Stop this. Stop this. Stop this now! Huh. Oh. Wow, they really let me get a lot of damage in on this one. Wow, that was a lot of damage on that one. Ah! Yeah, I knew it. <clears throat> Can't reach them, they're in like a corner. Huge damage on this one, dude. That was inches from killing me. By the way. Oh, I won. I won the game. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. They disregarded my orders. Well... Technically, the house is cleansed of demons. Now, where's the gun? Now, now, where the where the hell's my firearm? Because I know there's a gun. I just can't remember where it is. Where the hell's the gun? Oh, the duck was cursed. Go figure. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what else is out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. No, I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Well. There was a note that said the gun was downstairs. I guess I just gotta go get it. 
Oh, there it is. Kill her. With one bullet. Oh yeah, one bullet's all I'm gonna fucking need. Be okay. We just need we just need the girl to kill us. <laughs> with one bullet. Yo, the bullet's back. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hang on one more time. One more time. A gun with one, bullet. A gun with one infinitely respawning bullet. Don't mind if I do. First of all, gonna check the basement, making sure there's no ghouls down there. Don't want any ghouls in the basement. God knows what happened last time. Just gonna have to make sure there's nothing down here. Don't really trust these fucking mannequins and all that. You okay? Well, the house is secure. All right, next is time to secure the lands. Time to secure my property. I have one bullet. One one's all I'm gonna need to finish the job. All right. Amy! Come out to play. Amy. Come out to play. Satan. Nobody saw that movie, Tomato, except for apparently you, because well, you're fucking telling me. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Evidently, people are clinking, and thus they know. Fool. Get him, truck driver! Get them! Simple as that, baby. America! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. That other guy drove by, thought he hit a fucking raccoon or something. Okay. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Brings God damn to you to my eye. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Brings a goddamn dude to my eye. I love Jesus. When faith endures, dude. When the fact that the like final ending of this is when you shoot the creature and they stumble into the road to be ran over by a cargo truck and then your guy fucking waxes a beautiful statement about Jesus and how Jesus is within us all is the funniest fucking thing ever. The try well the real lesson is that capitalism doesn't slow for demons, okay? The real lesson is that capitalism perhaps even accelerates pedal to the metal to run down devils on the fucking freeway. Keep yourself off of the road. 
Police, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents were calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, you want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or some exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found. Okay, that's pretty embarrassing for them. When you're called in as an animal expert and then you can't say what animal it is. I don't know. Probably like a fucking chupacabra. <laughs> it's a chupacabra, dude. Shrugs. Although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets. A vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. They also had gout. I see. I got presents! New background unlocked, new chapter mode unlocked. New background. Options. Let's get rid of the background. Alright chat, next chapter. Chapter 2. New game. Demons enabled? Wait, what? Are you telling me I can turn those off? Hang on. Unfortunately, we have not unlocked the option to disable demons. Oh wait, I don't care about the credits. I, I, I <laughs> Man, they, 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 they take a second. Skirt! Okay, it's going to every single uh, Kickstarter backer. I just, I just don't know. I, I just don't have that kind of time. I, I just, I just don't. I'm dying, I'm dying. So we're gonna go ahead and turn up the faith game up to 20 times speed. There it is. Now let's just get... Jesus, there's a lot of people with J names. What the fuck? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Back. Begin. Chapter 2. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. I said, let's get in there. Well, here I am. My old abode. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Okay. Like, whatever, man. Fine. One day, my, uh, uh, that's a, a lad. Just some lad. Okay, whatever. Two weeks. Oh, boy. He got into Roblox. You can tell from the eyes. He's got those Roblox eyes. Michael's been playing some online video games. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a three month old Roblox gamer that just realized how to monetize their creations on Roblox in order to fucking just wring money out of other Zoomers. Oh boy, they've just reached their peak power. 
right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Peak shrimp posture. <laughs> All right, Michael, so here's the deal. Do not cuss at me. Demon. All right, well, look here, man. I got all day. Rapid fire. Ba -ba -ba. Jesus, rapid fire. Ba -ba -ba. I'm dribbling. I'm, dri I'm, I'm dribbling it. I'm dribbling the cross. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. uh oh. It seems like he broke out of his restraint. That's not ideal for me. I gotta get the heck out of here. Uh-oh. It looks like he's escaped. That's not good. That's the kind of thing we don't want to happen. He took the picture of himself. Oh, no. He took the evidence of when he became a ghoul. Michael? Oh, Michael, you're in big fucking trouble for that one. I cannot believe you killed him. That guy, what was his name? I don't know. Michael, my God, you're eating him! Ew! Dude, that was a. We are on the seventh floor of a building. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think Michael fucking knew that. It's 2 a.m. I have the body of a pig! <laughs> I have the body of a pig! Squee! Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing it. I don't care. Whoa! That thing could have ran me over. That was close. Hang on, I want to follow him. Dios mio. A deer. Come over here now, you cute little guy. Come on. Come on, I love nature. The fuck did this piece of shit go? <laughs> hey. The fuck out of here now! I, I order you by uh, by by uh, Jesus Christ, blessed be His name! I order you to come out here. By the power of God, I command you to come out here and let me like pet you now. That yeah, all right, that deer's not going to the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> we all know this. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's exactly, you know, you get what's coming to you. You're gonna act like that. You act like that, you're gonna get what's coming to you. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Get cleansed. Notice aviso. The current investigation being conducted at the Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds and the surrounding woods and any wildlife and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Okay. Hang on. We're gonna follow the path, I'm not a fool. Oh my god, it's a cemetery I was told not to go into. Oh my god, it opened when I walked up to it. That's not good. Anyways. Oh my god, it sealed me in. That's super not good. Anyways. 
so just don't go to the location. Well, my guy's banking on it being a demon and not like, I don't know, a serial killer. Because I can tell you one thing, this fucking cross is going to stop. Like a guy with a knife, like just trying to stab me. Dearest disciple, Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of the men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Enter the spirit house. Whatever you use, some kind of hole. Oh, fuck. Looks like there's some ghosts wandering the cemetery. No one's surprised. All right, let's get to it then. The uh, evil, the evil come out here now. Now, let's see. We have here is a uh, classic, uh, classic old devil ghost play. Uh, we're going to want to avoid these clouds because there is a creature in the mist. MY GOD, IT'S ALL OVER US! I see him. He's in that cloud. Dude, honestly, at this point, fucking chill. Like, it's... Just chill the fuck out. He exploded and fucking died, all right? I don't, I'm not sending people to hell or heaven anymore. I'm just fucking sending them to the avoid. I'm sending them to the void. Okay, we're done with this. Pfft. Explodes into blood. That he's dead for good. No afterlife, nothing. Okay, okay, no shadow realm, nothing. We're done with this. I strapped a triple A battery to this crucifix. <laughs> okay, it's double, it's doubly powerful now. It's got so much god juice and power within it. Okay. This thing's got bad. This thing's electrically charged. Losing grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. And then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, Would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's houses. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Yeah, I've got Duracell attached to this crucifix and it makes it extra powerful. Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. This is getting to be some real bullshit on this one. This is some real bullshit. Oh, yeah? Forward. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to do one of these, yeah. Lost Woods minus the banging tunes. Lost Woods minus the banging tunes and also seemingly no correct direction. So I might just go to the other side of the map for now. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna do the other side for now. Oh, yep. I think I'm a fool. This is... It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was training... Was a training advisor for the United States Navy, and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12th, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, 
They taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at the Tillingast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial service will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, and their twin boys, Nate and Jason. Hmm. I fucking, I fucking know there's a ghost right here, dude. Wow, well, really? Okay, now I have to go back and something's gonna kill me. I don't remember any of chapter two, dude, I'm telling you. Chapter one, I remember chapter two, all blank slate. I literally don't remember any of this game. Ah! What the heck? All right, man. <laughs> Whatever you fucking say, you weird fucking footsteps. Yo, what the fuck is that? Put some goddamn pants on! The hell's your problem, you little freak? What the hell? Oh, Jesus! Not gonna put me back in that room, huh? Gonna make me walk all the way back over? Gonna make me walk over in fucking shame? Okay. Alright. Dude, I hate this little guy. I hate this little guy. Not like a lot of time to hit him. God damn it, the ankle's so weird, dude. Fuck off. How about you just die already, all right? How about you just fucking die already? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was so big, as that was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now, she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Gary? G -g -g Gary? What the hell's up this way? Ah. Wait a minute, I don't need that. I don't need to open this fucking lock. Let's go around it, man. Okay, that really backfired in my face. Okay. All right, let's solve the riddle of the infinite fucking gates. For the second time in my life, first time that I remember. Again. Okay, so that way. All right. So first either way, it's this way, because that's the thing in the middle. I'm not going to remember the other parts, though, so it's... Wait, but I... Hang on. This fucking guy's pointing... Pointing to go this way. So it's right up. And then left and then up, I guess. Right... Fuck up on him. 
Right up, left up. Right up, left up. This wouldn't frustrate me so much all the time if it wasn't for the fact that your character walks so fucking slow. Right? Up. Left. Might be down. Try up again though. I guess I just did it wrong. I was like looking at the screen when I was walking. Maybe I went into the wrong section. Wow, that one was really easy to kill. I guess because it took me so much longer to get there. Okay. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. My day, by day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I've learned the correct conjuring signs, drawing the inverted star among the rocks and arranged in five, first at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods and then I will show them my power, the power of Gary, the power of Gary, the strongest of the strongest of the cultists, Gary. Okay, man, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Let's all just, let's all just calm down. Okay. Ow. But I did get the key, and that's what really matters. I don't need to not be able to see. Oh. Ah, yes. Well, I solved the riddle. Looks like we're getting. Looks like we're gonna have to. Looks like we're getting close, Chet. We're getting close to the place of the D. Okay, that's just a fucking tree, man. I don't actually. I. I my cross doesn't actually uh, address tree people. One of these trees is fucking alive and gonna totally rip my face off. I can tell. Oh, never mind. Didn't matter. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. All right. Where the hell you at? Day one of our paranormal investigation into the snake hill. Day one into our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome! We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in! That's not a rhyme, man. You know, hey, man, you stupid? Fucking idiot? That's not a rhyme. I cleanse the skull. Night three. Shouldn't come here! Tape's missing! Laura's stuck behind basement door! Henry hasn't come back yet! Can't leave! Oops, well, sucks to be you. Jesus? Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeks have you yet to confess? I try to save a girl from evil, but my fear so overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me that my best Oh my god. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sacred adoration. 
Just fucking child. I don't freaking care. That was a cursed picture. We all knew it. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Emery's going to town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if he can get the if he can't get these boards off some of these doors. But there's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it, but on the tape very well. You can't hear it on the tape very well, but to us it kinda of sound like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back in the town. Okay, cool. Epic. <laughs> real voice. That's not my real voice, man. My real voice is way cooler. <laughs> my, now, my real voice. My real voice is way cooler, man. Way cooler. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think there's a. I think the ghouls in this room. I'm stupid. Screw up then! Come on, man! Watch the candles. I already did it. Okay. I already did it. You think I'm a fool? What? Nah, ghouls, ghouls already dead. Uh, this place is not haunted anymore. That I can assure you. Jesus, Jesus, are you here? Are you in the room with me? Jesus. Where? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the treeman. Anyways, that's the way to go. We just want to look if there's anything to, cr uh, to cleanse of uh, demons. Oh, yep. No. Not too. We're gonna be rich. We've got supernatural stuff on camera for sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off a shelf, and nothing like this. Tonight we'll be we while we're trying the spindly lady game again. One of our candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Bro! Bro, this is fucking epic! Darkness surrounds thee. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on the back of, a, of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she awaits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as, the, as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two. Bud, maybe your clock's out of batteries. <laughs> Have you checked? Maybe your old fucking watch doesn't- is just broken. <laughs> you stupid old bastard. You old backup bones. You moron. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison. He is bleeding from the screams of the demon. Yeah, but I'm not like him. I'm going to be fine. Chad, don't worry. I'm going to be fine. I don't know what any of that means. Fuck, can I go back? All right. Yep, I retained it. Let's go. Uh, stop. The doy. Uh, uh, 
ah, stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ah, stop. How about you cease that? Right now. Marcus. All right, man. You're really pissing me off right now with this bullshit. And if you think you're gonna keep me from killing you, you got another thing coming, man. Cause there's only so many options. I'm straight lining it, baby. Oh my fucking God. Fuck up. Alright? Go fuck yourself. No one asked. Check this one out. I'm about to do this in one try. Oh, yeah? Okay. Bop. Bop, 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 bop. I'm not, I'm gonna, yeah, I am brute forcing. Yeah, I am brute forcing, all right? Yeah, I am brute forcing. What's it to you, idiots? Yeah, yeah, I am brute forcing. I'm not gonna use the fucking thing. I don't care. Yo, dude, it's a bunch of human-sized chromosomes. All right, I'm gonna go bath and beer back. All right. All right. Let's go. Time to move on. What? Huh? You tell me that was a toilet down there? That looks like an outhouse. Was that like a was that a bathroom? Was that room a bath? Oh my god. Those things almost freaking ate me. Were they? Oh my god. Those deer were devils. Three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel no Nogales, and Troy Ingles. Ingles. Are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual, pandemonium regnat. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities could not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from the- wait, wouldn't it be really fucking easy to specify? If you know who the three people are, and you can identify one of the bodies, you can literally immediately specify who the two that were burned were. There's only three bodies. Eh. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of the certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to the last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. John had impersonated a priest and gained Amy's trust. 
before luring her into the woods and killing her. Wrong. I shot her with a gun and then a car ran her down. Okay, a big truck. Okay, God bless America, ran her down and fucking killed her. Okay, but I didn't finish the job. Okay, America did. Land of the free, home of the brave. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging people of Sterling to not, to, to not mourn the loss of Atwood. Nogales and Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stuck them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignore their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing their head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now, she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnat satani fite. Pandemonium regnat satani fite. Pandemonium. Okay, man, chill out. Okay. I don't know how this got past editors. I read it in the newspaper, but whoever this fucking guy was, they made a very specific letter. They made a very specific article, and it's a shock that they got that they got me on this one. It's a shock that I ended up. Oh, it keeps going. Okay, it keeps going. I uh, wow. Okay, John, just stop reading it. <laughs> John, stop reading it. I'm here, John. Oh my fucking god! I got, I got Ark of the Covenanted. Fuck. <laughs> he got scrungled. I it kind of got scrungled on that one. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. We're cool. We're cool. I'm not going to do anything crazy. What's up, guys? What's good? What's good? It's just me. You guys like Jesus? I'm just scrungling. Candy tunnel. <laughs> All right, everyone. Death awaits inside the candy tunnel. Let's get on in there. Eyeball. What kind of dark secrets await us inside of the- That's a fucking body. That's a skeleton. That's just a skeleton. That one's cursed. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say it, they heard the shots. Who's fucking climbing the candy tunnel? It's like, who names it fucking candy tunnel? Who does that? Oh, here we go. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels where a suspected murderer, Joe Bowman, also known as the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, 
It is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange and efforts are being made to recover the, the casualties from the tunnels. You're telling me this tunnel, this candy tunnel, they had to put an effort had to be made to recover the bodies. My guy, it's a sewer tunnel. This isn't like this isn't like Mount Everest. You don't have to be like you don't have to elaborate that it's incredibly difficult to pull some. I don't know if I want to go in the sewer tunnel, guys. I don't know. It's wet in there. It's wet. It's wet. It's wet in there. Smell kind of bad. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indignant, indign, indign, I hate that fucking word, has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. I'm just going to try to read as fast as I can to get away from it. Authorities being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to to Joe Bowman, also known as the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. If I was a fucking serial killer, okay, <laughs> and I was on the run from the law, they people people knew my deal, but they also knew my name. Okay, if I was a ding dang serial killer, if I was out there. Killing and doing psycho shit. And my thing was, I know the one thing I do is I, you know, what's some, what's something, what's a unique thing? Uh, when I'm, when I'm done, I, I smash a watermelon into the dead body's face. I like that. Every single time you find a dead body, you, you know, you know, I was up to it because there's a, just a, a watermelon smashed into the fucking ground on the face. So I'm the melon killer. I, I, I'm the melon killer in this hypothetical. Okay. And then I'm on the run from the law. Okay, I'm people they they got my name. They got me. All right. They know who I am. They have not caught me And then a fucking tunnel shows up one day people are called it the melon tunnel You think I'm gonna go there you there there's no fucking serial killer in their right mind is gonna go to the fucking tunnel That's named after their thing. They do what are you crazy? But it's my tunnel Arguably serial killers are not in their right minds. Yeah, but the thing is a serial killer usually gets away with it quite a couple of times Therefore, they probably are pretty good at not getting caught in a lot of cases or at least in, uh, in some cases So you, so you get kind of <laughs> up around the assumption that they wouldn't go to like a place with their name on it They would definitely check out the tunnel <laughs> All right, maybe you guys know more about serial killers than me. I'm sure you've watched all of the serial killer documentaries and dramatizations and stuff. I don't. There's also definitely a serial killer in these holes up above here. For sure. Matter of fact, I can literally see them scampering around. Satan lives. Hang on. What did that... Did you, are you telling me someone typoed? Sa Satan lives. <laughs> you know, Satan does live on. Uh... Uh, the, it's coming back, baby. It's it's gonna have a comeback. Satin, a lot of, uh, the the material, that fabric. I think it's gonna it's it's coming back. We all know this. We know this. Read. <laughs> all right. When C. Don't. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down so far. When C, don't you... When C, don't you, it move? When C, don't you, it move? When C, don't you, it move? When... Don't see it, you move. Okay. <laughs> no, I know what it's saying.
Moron. He didn't know I was really here the whole time, fool. Pelp. <laughs> that that says that that or that says pillow. Pelp. Pelp. I gotta climb in this hole. You guys think this is a cursed bottle? Probably something cursed here. No. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, this room's not my fucking problem. It's a whole load of not my problem. When I was a boy, my nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it. Keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers. The ones with grid and the child prostitute runways they'll eventually come back to the tunnels they always do it can have them for all i care nobody wants them around except maybe that thing and i'll tell you what i hope to god it never gets tired of them I pray to God every day of my life that 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 demon we have inside this sewer system keeps t keeps fighting the good fight and eating nothing but drug addicts for the rest of days. As long as it stays away from us God-fearing Christians. Amen. It's my country. Our strongest soldier. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'm gonna go the other way now towards Pelp. <laughs> Satin lives. This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody past the first pipe. Nobody goes past the first pipe unless they're looking for lore or some shit. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month, they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling and chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. Help! He asked friends, huh? All right, man. We'll see how you do against the power of Jesus Christ. Now that I know you're coming. Now that I know you're coming, let's see how you do against the power of Jehus Christ. I just got mugged. It wasn't even like a... Yeah, I held spacebar and I won. <clears throat> it's as simple as that. Well, time to get a move on. No one ever survives going this deep into the sewer system. It's all demons from here on out. Crucifix propaganda game.
Big Crucifix is funding this game. You can tell from a fucking mile away. I, I think, I, I for one, can't be the only one a little sick of Big Jesus. Big Jesus tried to tell us that we need a crucifix to defend ourselves from demons. Okay. I'm sorry, God, please save me. God ain't coming down here into the dirt. <laughs> I'm gonna need this flashlight. I can guarantee you of that much. This thing's gonna save my life. Oh my freaking God, that's just a body. Will you whisper? Not even sure what I'm crucifying right now. Not even sure what I, really not sure what I cleansed right there, but I cleansed it. It's been cleansed. Whatever. It did say, here I come. I can't understand a single fucking word coming out of this game. We're going up this hole. Without a light. I trust in Jesus' light. And Jesus is alone to guide me in these trying freaking times. Stop. We're going to want to go around that. There was a creature there. Skip it. Don't care. Who asked? More. More. All right, well, let's just... Let's just get this over with this time. Get on out of here. Shut up. Really wish I didn't pick a corner to hide in for this. That was the twins. Oh wait, I got him. He's dead. Ah, uh, we defeated that man. He's gone forever. No one. Will. Now we can take his flashlight. Hey, who was that? Get back here, you creature! Hey, get back here now! Oh my god. There's like... Freaking symbols on the ground. Oh my fucking god. Hey, stop that. Get over here now. Something's awry, Chad. I don't know how I feel about all this. Knip slam Adam. I've entered the hidden sanctum. I repeat, we are in the hidden sanctum of the devil. What the fuck does this say? They hate the light. Copy that. Copy that. Get the fuck out of here, you weird little ghoul. Hey, 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 all of you, back it up. I said, back it the fuck up. Hey, hey! That guy pissed me off all day, dude. I need, I need them all like in a corner to do that the way I wanted. I need all of them like in the same side. So I basically need to scoop them all in one direction. 
the fuck out of here. It, su it sucks you can't, like, turn diagonal in this game, dude. You know what I mean? Any minute now, we'll be done. I think you have to actually do it the whole time. Fuck off! Fuck off! Now! Oh, a key. I think I'm in horrible danger. Well, let's see here. We have uh, what looks to be a bunch of bullshit. And I'm really not sure what to do about all that, so we're just gonna leave. There's a creature in the room with me. I'm, my heart is uh, beating. Well, that door opens. But I don't know if I really want to, I think this is like, oh, hello. Oh my God. Yo, bro, it's him. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, Father Garcia, let's fucking do this, you and me. All right. So I'll... I know. And you're gonna back me up on that. Okay. Let's, let's fucking do this. Hey, you old bag! Me and Garcia are here to kick your ass! Garcia the Giga Chat has entered the game. Alright, Garcia! Come on! Hold spacebar at him as hard as you freaking can! We got him stun locked! We, you got this! Watch out! There's a serial killer! You let him die. My character has gout. He can't walk very good. We need to stack up. Yeah, stacking up's the answer. Stacking up is perfect, dude. Easily defeated? Okay. Father Garcia walked away really fucking quick, uh, there, and walked straight into a serial killer who killed him. So I guess I'm doing this solo. I guess this is a solo cruci uh, crucifix situation. Let's, let's fucking go. You know what I mean? He was old. He didn't have the moves. He literally just didn't have the moves. I got this. Besides, I want to move on to chapter three, so I'm not going to worry too much about perfecting everything. I want to do the new content, not the old lame content. You know what I mean? Oh, fucking Christ. Fucking weird ass old grandma. I guess maybe I should let her get closer so I can actually like get some damage.
Oh my god. Christ, when you're like not moving that fast, it's sort of hard to see. That's scary, dude. El Diablo. Go away. Stop. How much more? How much more does you got in you, Satine? You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. <laughs> oh, puts us back at this part. Okay. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the flashlight section. To be to be totally truthful. Right, she's doing a new thing this time. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I just wish I could aim diagonally. Because it's like, she's moving diagonally. My character can move diagonally. Sometimes she does this weird vertical thing. I have to constantly be moving or else I can't catch her if she's in a diagonal. It's just like, oh, it's very, it's a lot of time lost if you die. Chill, lady! Lady, chill! She's using all the old tricks in the book. Okay, now she's just chasing me. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Man, I really wish for, 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 I really wish Father Garcia hadn't been turned into like a pile of garbage. Listen to you. That's what you sound like. What the fuck is she doing right now? What the what the fuck are you doing, old lady? Just die already! Please die, though. Please just die, though. Alright, I pointed the cross at her enough so she became what is literally hell on earth. Oh, it was a dream. Chat, it was, it was a dream. Chapter two was all a dream. All along. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. Dang, man. Dang, man. I'm not going in there. Dang, man. Well, that's fine. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived the nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak. And I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Yeah, maybe, John. Chapter three. Who is that guy? Some kind of freaking psycho. Probably, if I had to guess. Probably like a, a some maniac. You know what I mean?
It's time. Chapter 3. Time to finish the fight. Me go to bathroom and then we finish fight. It's now officially time to finish the fight. Let's get the fuck in there. What is this? Show needles? What is show needles? Eh. It was automatically enabled, so sure. Content check, probably. Okay. September 21st, 1986. I don't need to tell you that this assignment is top secret. Yes, sir. Based on what I saw during my previous visits, we could be in for a very long night. Is this your first exorcism? Yeah, yeah. Are you afraid? I, I don't fucking know. That's father to you. I'll give you a word of advice. Follow my instructions with exactness. Don't trust what you may see or hear. Okay. Why are we underwater? Hang on. Well, all right, boss. Hello. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Martin. This is my assistant, Father Ward. Yes, hi, it's John. Shall we begin? So where the hell is this creature? I don't like that. I've been missing some of the dialogue here. Uh, don't be afraid, Mr. Martin. The Lord's servants are here. Yep, don't worry. I know Jesus. Me and him would go way back. We've, uh, we've hung out. So you guys just let me take it from here, alright? What's up? Uh, what? That was weird. That was... That was str- Garcia, I saw something weird. Garcia. Yo, what's up? So, we have two ways we can do this. Either I can crucify- I can do the crucifix thing. Alright? And save you via Jesus, or I can save you via fucking Kramaga! Alright? You wanna fucking tango? We can do this one of two ways, Amy. Through God? Or through hands? Okay, so what's it gonna fucking be? Okay, I think we're doing God on this one. Oh! Christ my God. <laughs> October 28th. Nineteen eighty-seven. Three days until the profane Sabbath. Don't like seeing that. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual to the, on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of this demon is Malphus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. Okay, Dad.
I'm not going in there. What's in there, John? John, I can't find Nader Jason Martin in the state of foster care, in the state foster care system. It's, a, it's possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, I'll go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Via con Dios, Father Garcia. This plant is cursed. We're clean. <clears throat> Prove this isn't pre-recorded. Hang on, let me let me say that again. Let me try let me try that line again for the recording. <clears throat> Prove this isn't recorded. There. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. I already know how the note system works. I already know. Man, everyone's basement in this game is leaky as all hell. Like, this is the leakiest fucking- this place is disgusting! I wonder if there's anything maybe like underneath the stairs? No. This place exists for nothing. I guess I'm gonna go. Nope. Can't leave. What am I missing? Is this the exit? I couldn't tell if there's like a shelf. Yeah, it's an exit. Okay. Leave? No. I wonder if that trucker's still alive. I walked to my neighbor's house. You guys want to talk about God? Hey! 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 What's up? What's up? <gasps> I'll bang- I'll, I'll knock on my desk so hard it breaks the fucking game, I swear to God, answer this fucking door! I wish my mouse wasn't so sensitive, I can't believe I have- it. <laughs> HEY! Alright. Let's just go. We actually want to go to the neighbor on the right house. This is the cool one. <laughs> what are these positions? Is this guy, I can't tell, is this him, is his body like facing towards me and he's peering over his whole shoulder? Is that like his torso? It's an orb child. That guy needs Jesus. Just checking for Pennywise, stuff like that. Gotta make sure. All right, let's go find truck almost fucking hit me. Anyways, I am entering the place. Wait, did you guys see that truck? That was the same one that followed us before. Did you see that? Man, that, that fucker almost ran me over. Beel... Beelzefest. 
calling all metal fans. Beals of Fest 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by When All Is Said and Done, Trust No Corpse, The Horror Is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage, Among the Bloody, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. Tickets are only three dollars. I got it. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Anyways, I'm sneaking into this house now. You feel watched. Didn't ask. Didn't ask, didn't care. Fax to Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Hi, Rhonda. Just a couple of reminders that last week, after last week's visit, please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their health care experience. Remember our sales points. Clean, quick, courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Mr. Martin. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you and facts. Don't know how I feel about that. This whole letter doesn't really feel that good. Don't really like Gary. That's a, that's a disgusting creature. Disgusting creature. Disgusting creature, kind of melting. Fuck. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm actually a very normal person beyond my cross I hold. Oh, there's a crowbar. Okay, well, this chair is going to come alive and kill me, so I'm not sure why I'm even bothering. Oh, no? Okay, well, something's going to come out of that vent up above this. Someone dropped a crowbar here. Yeah, someone did drop a crowbar here, man. Sus! Sus! There's something in the vent, bro! I can see them moving, dude! I can hear them, bro! Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go! Help! I need to hide. What do you mean you need to hide? We're restrained. We can't hide. Yeah. Okay. Hot to hell. One thing I can think of is behind this. I need to hide. There. I'm behind it. What is that thing? Thank God it can't see me unless it's in, unless it's like a 3D entity. It's a 2D creature. It can't see me. I'm gonna stay like this and not move an inch. But really, I was freaking lying, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> Well, I'm not getting up that side. That's stairs. I need to hide. Well, not much to do about it. Up the stairs. Fuck. Fuck. More How can you go upstairs? I don't know, man. 
Have you ever been tied up to a stretcher? Probably not, so how would you know what a person in a stretcher can or cannot do? Wow, that's pretty ignorant of you, asshole. Wow, that's pretty dumb of you. Pretty dumb of you to say something like that. You know, you can do a lot more stuff than you think when you have faith. When you have when you have God on your side watching out for you, anything's possible. Krav Maga the demon. The demon's fucking lucky I don't have hands right now to use. I need to hide. Nope. Okay, well I can't open or close doors, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm dead. I'm dead. It seems kind of dumb, actually, this guy. This demon seems kind of dumb. Like an idiot. Yeah, he's kind of a fool. Although I still can't go through this door. So which means, chat, we were supposed to go up the stairs in a stretcher, you fools. You're looking pretty foolish right now. Knew it. What the hell is going out here? You're coming with me, Preacher. I can't refuse. You're not gonna fucking shoot me, are you, man? Alright, you come with me. Alright? Because there's a demon directly up there, and I'm gonna have you gun it down. He's stuck. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, come on. The demon's probably using the same trick I did, and he's hiding behind these curtains. You should be careful. You should be mindful of your surroundings. We have no idea where this creature could be. Keep your wits about you. And your and your aim is steady, because at a moment's notice, we could get freaking destroyed. Oh, it jumped out the window. Oh boy, that's exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. Oh yeah. Well, I guess let's go then. It'll probably get hit by a car like all the other demons in this game. Everyone knows the greatest weakness of any demon is uh, 21st century technology just casually killing them by them just walking by it. Okay, man. Yeah, no, I'll just do it myself. You Shoot that thing! It's a demon! Thank God he's gone. You missed. You think he's gonna be okay? You, you'll get the shot eventually. There it is. There it is. We're kind of just watching as he fights it. Really more so than anything. Looking good, man. Good moves. So how you been, man? Oh my god! Damn. Turns out guns really do just solve all of our problems when it comes to specifically demons. Not sure that's a hippie situation. And he's leaving. Okay, well, I mean... Man, this is like a safety hazard. 
guys. You really, you, you, someone ought to do something about this. But it ain't gonna be me, man. And he got, he, he got killed. He got, can I get in my car and go? I don't want his gun. I leave. Fuck this. For that reason, I'm out. Ah, uh, you got it, man. Exizot creature salis adro de meti. Ah, fuck! I skipped a, a word. Hang on, I threw it to the other side of the room. Adro te serpents disgustas ab hoc virgo. Ah, fuck! Dropped it again, Butterfingers. You know what I mean? Exorcizo de te perdu em de fantasma. Ah, fuck. Un nomine Jesu Christi qui vetules utitu que vivos e mortalos. Be cool. Get out of here, you two. Go on now, get. Can't you see we're walking around? Get at it, get lost, you two. Come on, follow me. All right, I catch you down here again. You're gonna be in big trouble with Jesus. Okay? Jesus, I swear God will be so mad. Get out of here, get back up to your house. It's best that you stay here, get a snack, make some, make a sandwich, enjoy yourself, watch some TV. Just don't listen to the sounds downstairs. Do not come back down. I don't know what to tell you, just back it up. I need to, I need to go assist Alfred. Uh, stay here. Stay here and pray. Here, to hold this basketball, make you feel better. Let me dribble it a little, see what happens. All right, man, I'm back. Take it, save her. Power up! <laughs> See, chat, people were saying bad ending because I didn't grab the pistol. More like good ending because I said no to guns. <gasps> More like good ending because I said no to guns. Okay? Because you know what? You know what's not gonna, you know what's not gonna save anyone? Guns, you know what it is gonna say, people? Praying harder. Okay. <laughs> we we got we gotta pray the demons away, alright? I pray to God. Every day of my life. We need both. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Go in there, coward! <laughs> see, let's see what's in there already. It's probably something horrible. John, for now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven, Connecticut. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malfas. I'm not able to go there myself. Dude, if I was Malthus and I got freaking summoned back into the world of the living inside of a dingy fucking apartment by a bunch of wasteoids. By a bunch of wasteoids, like in some shithole apartment, I would fucking, I'd be so mad. Like, I know you can do better. Don't you fucking tell, I don't want a bunch of hippies to summon me inside of some, <laughs> some kind of fucking, <laughs> I just, I just don't- I just don't want that, dude. That's not how I- I'm not able to go there myself. It's up for you to stop their rituals via con Dios. Father Garcia. <laughs> John! Boomer tomato letting it all out. Alright. Say what you will, chat, but the word wasteoid is a fun word. It's a fun fucking word. That's a fun word. That's a fun sounding word. 
out there. Okay. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartments. I see them all the time, and now I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to any of my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Mm hmm. Lisa. All right, Lisa, whatever. Let's get to it then. Let me check my basement to see if there's anything weird going on. Stuff's looking good. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Here we are. The apartments where Malfas, the destroyer of worlds, will be summoned in no less than 12 minutes. Let's get started. Just looking around for secrets. You know how it is. Wait a minute. The truck. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, man. Oh my god. Someone was dropping all their freaking cigarettes. Some disgusting creature was dropping all their cigarettes all over the ground. Disgusting among the damned. The devil's smoke. Let's see. I uh, don't know where those people. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't even know Lisa's last name. Hello, Mr. Ward. I'm so sorry to have worried you. I'm perfectly fine. I've not been feeling like myself lately. However, I'm much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I've decided to take an extended vacation in the country, so you will not see me uh, at my home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. I will take my from Lisa. <sighs> okay, let's see here. John, don't come visit me. I'm good. John, I really need your help. Help, please. Don't trust anyone. Please come straight to my place. Don't hang out with Tiffany. Uh, apartment 5A. All right. I'm going to apartment 5A. I don't... I, they, they're going to have to kill me if they want to stop me from getting into that goddamn apartment. I will... I swear to God. All right. And Tiffany, if that... If that... Is that pardon my French? That that wench dares step in my fucking face? Okay, when I'm trying to save my friend? I'll take her down. I'll take her down. Let me just go into the basement where I can't see really quick. Ah! Wench toy, <laughs> shut up. One B. Wait. Five A. Okay. We gotta go to floor five. I'm guessing the elevator is freaking beat busted. Just totally ruined. Floor two. Gonna be a long walk. I dare not take the elevator. We know this. Okay, maybe I'll take the elevator. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Floor five. Here we are. Floor five. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must follow the- you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. Shut up. There's 5A. I don't like games. 
Lisa it's Pearson. Locked. It's locked. Fuck. All right, I'm going home. Let's get the fuck out of here. I checked. The, it, the door is locked. I don't know what else to do. But yeah, let me just kick the door down. No, I'm a preacher. I'm not a fucking like. I'm not like a. No, I'm, I'm out of here. Wait, hang on. What was that fucking note? If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. I don't know the rules. I literally don't know the rules. I shall kick my other notes from Lisa. Shut up. All right. We're going to do the old, I don't use the elevator trick, where I just take the stairs all the way up to my floors I want to check. Oh, hang on. Might as well go through everything again, because it's told me. Blah, blah, blah. Hang on. P.S. For some reason, if I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany, but I'm not supposed to trust Tiffany. All right, we got to find Tiffany. I got, I'm going to have to kill Tiffany. All right, fine. I should have packed my gun, but I didn't. Okay, where's Tiffany live? Tiffany, you, you wench. As I've said before, I will I will take you down. Wait, but I don't know Tiffany's. I don't know Tiffany's fucking. What's Tiffany's fucking first name? Tiffany. There's about 30 people with T names. Well, actually, no. Specifically, there's... Ba -ba -ba, no one on floor... Wait. This goes by A's instead... Oh, my God. Okay, so Tiffany could be... It could be Tiffany Robinson on floor 3, apartment B. It could be Tiffany Boone on floor 8, apartment A. Okay, so it's either... Uh, floor 3B, okay, 3B, or it is 8A. Okay, well, let's go do it. Writing it down, I don't feel like coming back here. You know how fucking, you know how long it takes me to fucking walk anywhere on this game? We'll do top floor first. I definitely, I surely don't trust you, so I'm not gonna leave it to you. Never. All right, hey, hey, let's go check it. There, door's open, that's good. Good sign. No key. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to the rescue. Come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Welp. Doesn't look like Tiffany's gonna have the fucking key. She's fucking dead. Well, back to square one. R.I.P. Wench. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, there's a note over here. You still gonna do more bounce, SMP? No, nah, I'm done with it. I'm, it's over forever. Uh, those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them.
I see no guard. There is a seventh floor. No, didn't didn't ask and didn't care. Didn't ask, didn't care, you know what I mean? Did I just see a demo? I think I saw a demo. Take me to the sixth floor. Can we not go to that floor? <laughs> Elevator friend. Okay, it looks like there's blood seeping down from the ceiling on 6B, and I can't help but feel like that's blood from floor 7. Hello? Okay, yeah, there's definitely some kind of creature there. Definitely some kind of spider creature. Weird little guy. Evidently, he was in the elevator with me the whole time. <gasps> there is no seventh floor. There is a seventh floor. There is no seventh floor. <sighs> Dude, go away. Literally, no one wants to hang out with you. I want to go to the top floor. Don't be mean. Fuck him. All right? Oh, I don't see anything. This place is empty. There's nothing here. Okay. I'm just looking around for notes before I like figure out what's up. Go away. Go away now. He's having an asthma attack. I'm so, I'm actually irrationally upset. No, I'm, no, that's irrational. That's irrational fucking anger. After that, it reset the whole thing. All of it. I shall kick my from Lisa. Oh my god, that's really good. That's really good. He walked it on me from a point where I could not access the fucking way to like push him away. That needs a checkpoint there. Because I feel like I have to do the Tiffany thing to access the rest of it, so, uh... I gotta go all the way back to Tiffany. And I'm starting to not feel good, so I'm trying to- I'm trying to get this done. At some point in the next couple hours. Okay, so let's take a look around. I want to go up the floors just because I'm trying to look for the notes. I don't want to miss any notes. No more bounce SMP. I'm just going to watch Sput. Minecraft viewers chat. Minecraft viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're done playing Minecraft forever, don't worry. We're never playing it again. That definitely wasn't me joking around. But... You know. This thing's haunted. 
Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. It will be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activities will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, a.k.a. those who receive this new le newsletter, are invited. Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident, so I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want a repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats but no tricks and just another friendly reminder that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. Also, please be aware of Timmy's diet and food allergies. And please be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not sneak up on him and try to scare him again. He still has trouble after what happened last year. You will also notice that there is a new- that he has a new imaginary friend. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who has taken to Timmy so well and has become like a part, like a part of the family. Debbie. Timmy's real copium. Timmy's having a bad day. Timmy's been having a bad day today. What about the pack you were playing with, Dave? Are you going to revisit that one, Tomato? Chat. Anyways. <laughs> M. For it's Minecraft. Fun. Sacrifice what you cling to. I mean, I think I know what I have to do to get up to the seventh floor, and that's walk all the way fuck it up manually. While under threat of the guy. But first I have to summon him, I think, so I have to do this mashing seven, summon him. And then once he's active, I go. Didn't the note say something about not? Hang on. I don't think I actually have the note on this one because the game's checkpoint sucks here. Uh, let me take a look. I truly have no idea where the note was that was like, eh, this is how you get the thing to work. Uh, because the checkpoint was really bad. So, uh, H. Clark, who's on floor seven? Tillman? Floor eight, you think it was? I just want to remember where it was, because that was, that was literally like the hint to access the rest of this level. But it deleted it when I died. It's one or the other. I just need to find it so I can double check what I'm supposed to do. Come on, where is this thing? Oh, here it is. Is this actually it? Is this the is this the real note? Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be the ones who visited by the ones who guard them. That was not the right note, unfortunately. Uh that's not the one I needed. I might try floor seven one. God damn it, that's so frustrating. Ah, I can't believe how shit that checkpoint is, dude. I think my greatest pet peeve in all games is shit checkpoints. Ugh.
Well, we have we have the hang on. We had something on floor nine, I think, that I remember. But that might have just been the party thing. Like it's like I just truly don't remember where that note was. It wouldn't be as bad if your character didn't walk like he was uh he had broken ankles. Yeah, no, that's just the that's 9B was this. No, mashing seven is what summons the guy. I don't want to summon him until I know what I'm doing. Although I can assume what I'm doing, I don't want to do it until I have the note. It's just frustrating because I had it. Two ways open. This is also a room that we haven't been in yet. Taking a long time to cleanse this one. Get fucking cleansed already. That is one really cursed dagger. Holy shit, this thing's evil as hell. My faith in God is too weak to cleanse it. Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven by passing them through the carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward that with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore, Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. I see it. I see like a hatch here, but I can't. I can't get in there. I cannot get in. Fucking Gary, dude. What's his deal, anyways? What's Gary's fucking deal? All right. I'm gonna just like. I guess I'm. I guess it's like literally can't find the note. I'm just gonna wing it. I guess. Really fucking frustrating, dude. <laughs> Since I don't remember where it was, I can't find the hint to actually do this right. I'm just gonna wing it. Unless it's like, unless it's to the, to the left here. It might be to the left where the stairs were. Nope. Wasn't it on floor insert this? You guys have been doing this all day though, chat. People have been telling me, it's on this floor, it's on this floor. There's, there's, a f there's 10 floors. Nine technically. So like. Got like one more floor search in me before I move on with my life. So it wouldn't even be a problem if the game just checkpointed when you picked up notes, which it should, by the way. Uh, it should be doing that. Considering how slow your character moves in this game, it should be saving at notes. God, imagine playing this with a fucking marathon mode. Who, what kind of sicko does that? No, this is just a room I haven't been to yet. But I guess this is a key to something. So I guess I'll go back up to Tiffany's. Maybe this opens Tiffany's now. Nope. I'm not about to die and lose my fucking, okay, now it's saved. Speed hack this to 0.25. This 
game doesn't even, some games don't work with uh, cheat engine. I don't think this one actually technically does. Because when I sped it up, I don't even actually think it sped up that much. All right. Was this not the floor? Which one's? Oh wait, which one was Tiffany on? Fucking hell! Oh my god. Five A. Dude, stop! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I'm getting frustrated. I need this game to move. I need this game to uh, to get a move on. Oh! <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Of course it was here. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you have to know the rules. Beware if you have a susceptible soul, you might be pulled in. I get the feeling that if I want to get to floor seven, I have to mash seven, then go all the way up from the first floor. Uh, first, let's see if we can open this. We can now. Okay. Almost positive that's how you have to do it. Someone freaking covered this whole door with markers and now I can't get it in. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Well... That wasn't very helpful for me, Gary, you fucking ass. There is something weird about that seal. Dude, when I see Gary, I'm gonna kick him in the fucking balls, man. I'm gonna take him down. Alright. My game's saved. Let's start the game. First floor. We have to walk all the way up to floor seven without being freaking killed by a devil or a demon. Get ready. Here we go. Ignoring mechanics. Ignoring mechanics. Floor two of seven. Floor two A of seven. Floor three of seven. God, my guy is the slowest walker ever. Floor three of seven. I keep seeing like the elevator buttons and thinking it says eight. And then I'm somehow on floor eight and it keeps confusing the hell out of me every single time I walk by it. Floor four of seven. I'm just ignoring him. Come on, just get down. I'm not doing this. I literally won't do it, bud. Fuck you, man. Floor 4A of 7. I won't do this like die on floor 6 shit. I hate him. I hate this guy. I fucking hate this guy's guts, but he's not gonna stop me from getting the floor seven. He can breathe all he wants. He's not gonna stop me. Floor six of seven.
the seeping floor, the floor that seeps ooze from the fifth, from the seventh floor. What's this? Elevator friend, ignoring it. Floor seven of seven. It's not here. It's really banking on that being the solution. Well, considering he's active means I'm doing something. So, uh... I'm gonna go to eight down. Come on, baby. Uh, no time. No time. If you wish to break the seal of a loo, blah, 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 the only way ascended to the highest point you can do, you can descend. Only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. I gotta go to floor 10. Ignoring you. Ignoring you, man. Right, we're officially at the highest point. Okay. Basement dumb waiter. How to use? Pull on the handle. Open the hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Well, that kind of ruins any chance you have at like an alibi or some kind of cover. If the police ever show up, you probably just want to leave it as place item. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to the basement. Light will blink red when done successfully. Please make sure you sacri your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached bottom of the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Stuff's looking clear on that. So be it. Fuck. Fuck. All right, assholes, fucking chromosomes. Chromosome looking assholes. Huh? But I said floor seven. But I said. Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. Okay. Huh. Oh, fuck. Pretty clear right now. Well, that's blocking the path. I can't get through. Oh. Very cool. Okay, well. Up here, around here, around this corner, through here, some guys, still there, 
I'll run. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Come on. Literally, I tested it before then. Whatever. Okay, it saved us here anyways. You gotta just, you gotta give me a break here, man. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine, everything's fine. It's just some strange hole dug into the wall, and this room is really, truly covered in bodies. Whose room is that anyways? Uh, I think that might have been, I think that might have been Tiffany's room. I'm not really sure. That might have been Tiffany. Some of that might have been Tiffany on that one. Okay. They're sending us back into 2A now. How's 2A doing? Better? Now I'm in some kind of crawl space. Okay. Yep, trying to get away from that. Actively holding the S and uh, W keys, trying to get away. Okay. Fuck. Wrong way. Guess I shouldn't have held S and W. Probably just kind of kept me standing in the same spot. It's okay, we outran them. They were way too slow. Okay, they're still fucking after me. Good news is I got this whole fucking hallway memorized. Easy. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go this way with it. We're gonna head on down. Alright, then we're gonna go this way. We're almost to the basement. Up, oh, fuck. Let me leave! Oh, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Everything's cool, everything's cool. Oh my god. Trick is just not to check. I know the layout of this place. I'm not crazy. Alright, let's get down there. Last step is the basement. Deep beneath the barrels. Did the game save? Was that the save icon? I think the game saved. Oh, my... My cross. Ah, uh, wait, is this... Oh, hang on. And there's a smiley face in that blood. I don't really feel too good about that. I can see! And if I can see, I can fight. Let's get out of there. What is this? My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare. Tiffany. Huh, well that's cursed as shit. Let's get that out of here. Guys, I'm starting to think I don't believe in Jesus as much anymore, because whenever I try to cleanse these cursed items, a whole lot of nothing happens. Can't help but notice I didn't gain anything from going down there. I feel like I missed something. Okay. That happened very quickly. Hello. John's gonna be fine, guys. No one worry. John's gonna be. John's just fine. Everything's fine. Everyone just stay calm. 
Nothing bad ever's happened to John. He's he's a man of Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Amen. That's why he's gonna be a okay. Nothing bad could happen. Let's just go on home. I don't know, dude. He kinda wanna go home. Floor 7 has nothing for me anymore. Where's the seal? What floor was the seal in? Where the hell was that? Where the hell was that blade? I think the blade was around here too. That might have been, I, I think that was 4 3. Hello? No one cares, man. I like my idea for the Faith Chapter 3 where John just leaves thir like every single time. Alright, well, this seal's better open now. Okay, well, uh, evidently I gained nothing from doing any of this, so surely I have to use that. I have to go get, like, the blade or something. Because, um, I didn't gain anything from doing that entire trip. So, uh... Hang on, I at least should try it. Jesus. The fuck did it just draw like a weird duck thing? What is that? It drew like a frog. Oh, I need the blade and the mask. Fuck. Okay, we gotta go get the blade. What was the blade was on floor three? Jesus drew that. Nah, a devil drew that, man. That's a devil's drawing. There's no fucking way Jesus drew that fucking shit. Jesus is a way better drawer than that. Jesus is way too busy anyways, or else he'd be helping, which he's not, ever. God knows he's never here to help. Jesus is showing me the way. Uh, not doing a very good job of it. In this case. Uh, this is not the room I remember for the, um, for the blade, chat. What floor was the blade on? You can just tell me. Two. I need to cleanse this. Brothers and sisters, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive. But he has put his seal over the vessel's door. This may be Tiffany's doing, but it may also be a test of our faith. Do not cease to pray. Swallow your pills. You may have twice as many as normal. Seal yourselves in with bricks and mortar. And if that so-called priest shows up, take him and eviscerate him over the altar, preferably still alive. Remember, Gary loves you. Damn. Damn, Gary. All right, floor two, I guess, for the blade. Let's try that. Second floor. I don't know which side it's on either. So now we're gonna check both. Okay, that's not the right one. No, we walked through the room. The blade's gone. It's gotta be in the basement. The blade is gone. It, 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 if it's not in this room, then it's gone. Because we... 
We passed through some of these rooms to get downstairs. Okay, Blade is here. Okay. We just missed it when we were doing the uh, crawl space part. Okay. We got it. Now I just gotta go back down to the mask and do that again. Jesus help poggers. Jesus did not. Jesus did not. Why didn't it work before? Because I guess I didn't believe hard enough. Is my explanation. There wasn't enough belief. Is that the seal of Orichalcos? If it's the seal of Orichalcos, may God have mercy on us all. Because I am only trained to deal with the seals of demons. The seal of Orichalcos is simply beyond my pay grade by such an extreme degree. That I would leave- that would be a get in my car and leave scenario. That would be a get in my car and leave scenario. I would not stay for that. What the H is that? Pray you never need to know. They don't know a mega law, and I pray they never have the day that I hope the day never comes that they do. Okay, so this is on floor four, right? I'm ignoring that note. I know your secret. No, you don't. Put out your eyes. Shut up. You can't hide anymore. Stop. If you belong to her. Stop. Chill out, man. He's going to dox me. Oh my god. Oh my god. He knows my Neopets password. He's going after Paul Paul. Oh my god! He's at the pole! I'm not gonna let him. I'd sooner kill everything and everyone around me in an attempt to somehow, like a shotgun blast, take him down, okay, than allow Paul Paul to fall. In Minecraft. I hated that Neopet. Paul Paul didn't like you either. So the feeling's mutual. How do you know? We stay in touch. This is the wrong room. What chat? Which fucking floor is the girl on? Five. At this point, I'm giving you backseat permission to tell me what floor things are on if this isn't the end of it, cause God. Gonna go insane. All right, demon, it's time for you to be taken down by the power of Jesus Christ. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. Alright, well, I'm just gonna hold space bar at you then. You out, you, Lisa, you know, one thing I know about Lisa, though, and unfortunately didn't hear it that from her, is her terrible legs. She's got barely functional legs, you creature. Okay, she's gotten a little bit faster now. Fight it, John. Oh, I guess I killed her. Oops. Oops. Oh, the devil made me do it. Well. <sighs>
Another day, another dollar. A bad ending? If this game wanted me to get the good ending, it wouldn't, um... It wouldn't make this so long and time-consuming for me to get to. I accept any endings I receive and encourage you to buy the game yourself. If you want to see other endings... Besides, uh, what happened there was quite literally it not explaining to me that I have to mash the arrow keys in the opposite direction to stop him from walking into her. It wasn't like I was holding the buttons to walk into her. Uh, I had to mash the button in the opposite directions. I feel like many people wouldn't realize that until they killed her the first time around. I think it's, it's sort of intended for you to try again. Anyways, I'm gone. Lies. We all know Tomato ran into her on purpose. To kill her. We all know the truth. Take it. Save her. Alright. Alright, Amy. This is how it's gonna play out. I see you. You're not very good at hiding. Fuck, she's quick though. She's fast on her feet. Amy. I fucking see you again. You're not very good at this. Come over here. Fuck. Amy? Okay, this time she's just not in the room. Okay. Amy? Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Oh, they're dead as hell. Oh, they're super dead. Oh, they're omega dead, chat. The Mr. and Mrs. Martin have been ripped to shreds. Ooh. Bob's glasses. Oh my god. Hello? Is there any freaking demons out there? Hello? Hello? I don't remember anything further. So this is a literal memory. Amy, are you in here? Amy? Hello? Where's the gun with one bullet? The one infinite bullet, however. I, I, you, you, you failed to remember that. Amy, you, she was there for a moment, and then she was gone again. Probably because she was busy killing and eviscerating her family. Amy, wow, you got larger than me very quickly. Amy. Don't you fuck listen here, lady. You call me a possum one more time. It's gonna be it's gonna be Christ Maga, alright? Meredith. You can talk about my dead daughter like that or whoever Meredith is to me. You're gonna regret that. Pulls out gun. Didn't see that one coming, did you, Amy? Bang! Bang, bang, bang! What? Come on now. Someone's on their way. I pull up. I hold up my, my cross. I point it at them. I lost... One day until the profane Sabbath. Well, we got one more day to stop Jesus. Uh, Jesus is like a reverse evil version from rising again fair. and killing us all. And honestly, considering I I believe I've beefed the last two ones, uh, probably not looking too good on that. John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior on the daycare at the daycare center on Fourth Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that this is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Vaya con Dios. Father Garcia. Father Garcia, I do not know how to tell you this. 
I've whiffed pretty much every one of these days. I'm pretty sure the Antichrist is rising again. Chapter 3 is like 25 chapters long. Can someone in chat tell me how much more I have here? This is the last section. Okay. Whoa! Okay, I believe it now. I wasn't sure at first. Now I kind of get it. Hey, what's going on? Purple guy, what's up? You guys need Jesus? I wonder if they'll mind if I sneak in through the back. There's even a perfect man-sized hole in the fucking, uh, daycare's fenced-in area. Straight to the playground. Hey, that's problematic. Hey, have we- Hey, even before the devil got in here, could we talk about that? <laughs> that is- That is cursed! A riddle, please. Ah! Riddle me this, please! Mr. John Priest, riddle me this. How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me and I'll show you. That's not a riddle, stupid fucking idiot. The tunnels await. A. Boy, oh boy, typing typing letters in pixel font, it's gotta be rough, because I'll tell you what, that thing after A ain't a B. <laughs> that ain't a, that's a D. That's a D, and there's no realm where that's a B. All right, what's up here? They're having fun. They're having, the kids are having fun out here. All right. <sighs> Mother Moon watches her little ones behind the door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled an offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Notes. I have to scroll so many to get to the note that it's referencing again. The our chalice is filled with an offering to the master of the unseen world. The chalice, spirit, vessel, fallen star. What colors can you see? Chalice. Bird, vessel, star, or spirit, whatever. Chalice. Chalice. Bird. Wait, do I, what, is this like a color thing? You tell it's actually a color puzzle? Oh my god. Anyways, I started looking around the rest of the map. Sun, uh, there's like colors here too. Yippee! Moon's gonna be a kind of piss yellow. In reality, it wasn't a puzzle about the note, it was a puzzle about the color of the, uh... Why did that switch? Oh, I see. Moon's gonna be a piss yellow for sure, for sure. Welcome children. Yeah. Mm, Kaylee, this fucking art sucks. This one's bad. I can't even tell what that is. Max, uh, purple, uh, pink chalice. Pig chalice. Was that the ultra kill guy? 
Yeah, it's looking like the ultra kill guy. Thanks, Satin. All right. Almost got the name right. Bird is blue. Okay, bird blue. What was the chalice again? I don't even remember. Bird's gonna be blue. Chalice pink. And that means we can just brute force the last one. Bird blue, chalice pink. Bird blue. Or was it light blue? Did the moon reset color? It totally did. I hereby brute force you. <laughs> I hereby call upon the power of Jesus Christ to brute force me through the final part of this puzzle. Arise, Jesus, arise. Give me the power to overcome these great trials. You guys need to oil these fucking, you guys need to like grease up these gears or something. That sounds awful. Fix it. If you are reading this, then congratulations. You are on your way to experiencing the wonders of our unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend. Gary, a normal human being, just like you and me. He's just like a human. As a tier one acolyte, you are just beginning your unspeakable journey to, the eventual, uh, event, to eventually see what Gary sees and to prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death, reserved for only the most worthy. To find if you are a vessel, Remember to attend meetings of the Eternal Order of the Second Death twice a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. Do not ever ask what is behind the door in the basement of the clinic. Uh, alright. Uh, okay then. Alright. She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk the husks. Walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. All right. Where's ya? Uh, so does anyone know where Gary is? I'm staring. I'm staring. I'm staring. I'm staring. I'm staring. See, if just looking at a painting does this do it, imagine how much like smearing like a bunch of mashed potatoes or like tomato juice on it's gonna do, you know what I mean? But this is exactly what we're talking about here, chat. Art simply can't, like, like think about it. This is why people are outraged. Oh, well, that's a giant hole. Uh, hello? Gary? Gary, you son of a bitch. Everyone else may love you, but I know I see through your bullshit. I don't believe your shit. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pieta Colota. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving embrace of Et Mater. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous, the generous patronage of the Save family. We invite everyone to re rever reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Nope. Get killed by Jesus, by the way. <laughs> Yo, we're in the tier two subsection. If you're reading this, congratulations, you've been officially granted tier two status. Yo, tier two subs. 
Upon crossing the threshold from tier one to tier two, your life as an acolyte will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corner of your rooms or experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will leave, that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in this new stage of your life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your, joy, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Jerry loves you. Gary. Not Jerry. Gary. Back! I said back! Die by Jesus' his hand! Pathetic. Hey, asshole. Dead. Dude, I can't believe Jesus is able to open all these doors for me. Alright, I did it. Long range Jesus moves. Oh, you guys are back to being alive? LOL. Or dog stirreth his pot full of sinners, the seats revolve. Andrus soweth discord, east and west trade place. Oh, fuck off with this shit. <laughs> Come on. Five seats in the north facing west, five seats in the south facing east. Come. Is it like the whole end of this game just gonna be rapid fire puzzles? <laughs> Bail giveth favor, the low seats are made high. <sighs> what happens if I just do this one? And what happens if I just do this? Six streamer brain does not want puzzle. Truly, no. I really don't. I really don't want puzzle right now. Ow! Ah! <laughs> Maybe the answer was never there. I don't think I ever was supposed to solve it. Maybe that's the truth. Dinosaur. They mean something. Oh. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. Uh, still, still, still trying to. Okay. Uh, do, and the door, door, eyeball door, spider creature, dogs, eating a cat. By the looks of things, Bert. Now you are ready. Cool, cool. Check good news. That puzzle was bullshit. It didn't. It wasn't real. We're okay. We're we're okay. We're a tier three sub to Pazuzu. We're officially a tier three sub. We're, we're a tier three sub chat. We get to be there for the second death. Oh, I can't even tell what's that. It's all censored. It's all, there's a big mosaic. I would hate to hallucinate puzzles, truly. Anyway, we just head on down here, like so. 
That's her brain, I think. Mm, couldn't be. Well, well, well. Is it? Hey! Oh. It's okay, Chet. I'm a tier 3 sub now. I'm a tier 3 sub to Pazuzu. I'm gonna be okay. It's everything's gonna be just fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. Hey, man. Yeah, everything's cool. Whoa, dude! <laughs> A sub train came through, bro! Look, <laughs> Look, dude! A sub train! Hype! Fucking chills, dude! Ah. Uh. Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. I gotta take a beat. You want what you want from me here? Chat. The first thing I thought of when I looked at this was deliver. Like it, it said, deliver two. I was like, I could shit in but these. Like, look, it looks like two toilets. Like I could just take a big shit in each of them. I could. I could. I could pinch two off. <laughs> get back to. All right. Let's just move on. Save my game now. Filthy acolyte, the substance of Gary's influence flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path for you which you have chosen. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and fully let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of unspeak worthy of the unspeakable. Resisting your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to Tier 3. Gary loves you. Tier 3, bro! We're tier three subs, dude! Don't make me do the puzzle. Okay, the puzzle wasn't real, chat. We're okay. Chat, we're okay. The puzzle was not real. Everything's okay. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, that looks like one of the things I need to dump into that thing. Huh? What's up with that wall? I'm out. I'm gonna go. Don't come alive and attack me. Nope. Oh, what? Huh? What? Quad two. Estes. I couldn't even read it in time. Quad two estes, Arithis two. Anyone read uh, Latin? Well, that was really easy. Ah! I don't think I got the thing I needed. I love walking slowly, dude. Someone's moving like a heavy table above me now, too. Oh, they stopped. Okay, so I guess I just hold spacebar. My guy, I'm too slow to outrun that guy. So you want me to just leave? Too bad, I'll have to, I'll have to do the whole walk again now. Okay. 
Guess this time I'll leave, cause there's no way I can get around. I mean, maybe I can just like not attack him. Maybe the lesson is don't attack. Maybe the lessons don't bother him. This sure is a video game. I like a lot of the concepts of this game. I really do, and I like the aesthetic of it. I, I love the aesthetic of it. I think when you're playing this game for four hours straight, walking at this speed with the controls this game has, bye, uh, you're gonna start to lose your mind. Uh, the, the, I think, I think walking, like, with the way this game's checkpoints work, you're gonna lose your fucking mind out here. Uh, I think the speed is, like, just truly an issue. At a certain point. Maybe that's the point? I don't think games should be designed to make you upset. In any case. I don't, I really don't, I just don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's what any dev is really necessarily going for. Then don't play Pathologic. I have played through Pathologic. And that game has quality of life as well. <laughs> I have played. Maybe not the first one, but you see the thing is Pathologic 1 was actually in reality just a bad game. Is the reason why it was painful. Uh, <laughs> the secret was just that it wasn't very good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in. There we go. Keck W shows up as I'm 12, by the way. Wait, what? That's not supposed to be there. No, that's supposed to be Keck W. The famous emote everyone loves. I can't believe it. How could this happen? Good go around the, uh, who I'm now going to call the tickler. Really quick. Let's play red light, green light. Okay, I don't think this asshole knows the game. Because I didn't even get to the start line before they just sprinted at me once I read that. What's up, man? And I'll be catching you later. We are really doing this. Asshole, you need to say red light, you fuck up! Oh my god! Did anyone hear red light? Did anyone hear him when he said fucking red light? Did anyone catch that? He didn't even say it the first time. We know that now. He just ran. Now we know he didn't say it. Can I just, cr can I get rid of him now? Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? They didn't save the game once I did this, so I had to get past these two ticklers without them fucking killing me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, we made it. We're okay. We're alright. I don't care about that painting. I'd like to save my game. Thank you. Okay, now we offer the other thing and then we enter the navel or whatever it is. Before opening his navel, do I still need another thing? I still need to get another thing. I think I need like a circle item. 
Well, there is a path that goes up that I didn't check. We're about to, dude, we're about to access the new Twitch feature of tier four subs. 70% of a tier four sub will go to the streamer, bro. Let's get some hype in the chat, dude. $50 a month, 70% goes to the streamer. What's up? Classic tier twos, buzzes. I don't know, can everything stop? Oh. <laughs> I got desperate, I just thought I'd ask if everything would chill for a second, because it just felt like there was a lot of different encounters happening at the same time right there. It didn't really feel like that was intended at a certain point. Right on. Oh, that's cool. Explain. Someone explain. Someone, someone explain. Well, I guess I'll get back up there. Maybe if I don't put down the other part, the like heart guy won't show up. Nope, there he is. I think I'm supposed to get got by it. Maybe. Is this just... Is this guy like... This guy's like an extra thing. Uh... Back down there now. I need to grab this, but I can't. All right, all right, I guess I'll do it. I'll do that. Whatever this guy wants. All right, let's go. Let's go, man. I'll do the heart thing first. If it ki if it kills you, then fine. Not really sure what, what's happening right now. Oh my. Thanks. Okay, yeah, reset. All right, we'll have to do the heart part again. Uh, two. Um. <laughs> Guess I'll. Uh, I guess we'll do this here and then I can go back and save and hope he doesn't respawn. Because I can't do both at the same time. How much more game is there after this? I'm not, not that I'm, I swear I'm not getting sick of this game chat. How much more is there though? Like, Matt, like, can you give me the exact fucking number on how much more game there is though? Because like, I'm starting to... I got like uh I gotta eat get dinner. Yeah yeah, I gotta get dinner. Only twenty minute. Only twenty minute Fun fact, this thing doesn't come out at the same speed every time, so sometimes it just, he's just all over you right at the beginning, other times he, you have time to get away. That's at least 20 mortises. Yeah, true. Is this guy dead now? If he comes back, I... No fucking way.
Did you... I guess I can kill him. I guess I can try to kill him. There's not a room large enough to do it at though. I need him dead or I won't be able to do the other part because he's gonna, I think if I get teleported here while I'm doing the other part, I will not be able to see my character in the mirror anymore. And I won't be able to defend myself from the monster in that one. Which is kind of like where I am right now. That's kind of the issue. Damage carries over for rooms for the heart. The range of this guy is so low. I need him in like a long hallway, not like not like this. This works. We'll just slowly kill him. He's definitely gonna die soon, nurse! Nurse! Any minute now, the heart creature will be dead and we'll be able to finish the game! Absolutely, nurse! What epic. Time to go save again. I'm definitely, I'm definitely ready for this game to end. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, this game's chunky movement has now reached a point of more of a source of rage than entertainment for me. If I'm being honest. And I, I, I pray to God. Please remember you're playing three games in one sitting, sir. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm actually, believe it or not, playing one game in one sitting because this is a product sold on Steam as a single game called Faith. It's three chapters in one sitting. So, uh, yeah, it's three chapters in one sitting. I'm playing four hours of a game. <laughs> I'm playing four hours of a game. Really not even sure what I'm supposed to do here. It seems like I can hit this guy if I do this and hit him with the reflection. Seems like that's the only way to do this, yeah. What the? Did he just teleport? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, well this time it checkpointed me here, I guess. So I guess I was supposed to kill the heart last time. I mean, my bandwidth for this is also admittedly a little bit lower because I'm feeling bad. I'm sick. And this game is really Boy. making it hard for me to finish my stream because I want to finish this game before I stop. And it's really, really trying as hard as it can to stretch this last, like, 30 minutes as hard as fucking possible in the most obnoxious way possible. Where, like, I'm basically in a boss rush where this whole game up until now has been relatively tame in that, like, you, there's one creature trying to get you and it's scary, 
that that's happening and now this game's entered this like state of like let's just give them every fucking thing in the whole map and i'm not a huge fan of that being the finale it's overstaying its welcome a little here I can't even hit this guy. Are we free? It's over. I just have to not be killed on the way over. I think I know why they have a disabled demon as an option. You can only get that once you beat in the game though, man. Only get that once you've defeated the monster. I don't know. I'm going to chalk up a lot of my uh, disdain for parts of this game as just me not feeling great and wanting it to be done and being frustrated that it's not giving me that choice. Uh, and not that the game is necessarily bad. Or parts of it are like, you know thumbs downs for me it's more just that I'm frustrated that it's taking me so long to get there I'm sure and that's why I'm putting a disclaimer here you know the walking speed is brutal though I would uh, okay Master spirits, the body of the mother stayeth suspended beneath the crucible of the profane Sabbath. If thou canst unlock the final secret of the crucible, know ye this. The cross hath the power to weaken the mother, but only someone who is ablaze with purifying fire canst truly destroy her. If thou canst understand these words, thou shalt know the true cost of thy faith. All right. Just gotta light myself on fire and then hold a cross at the demon. And then we'll be okay. You are now a tier four acolyte! You have descended beyond everything that you could pos that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong body and spirit to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not, only a little longer and you will experience the second death. Adios, alma perdita. Gary loves you. Fucking Gary. Partake of the dark. Dude, I'm a VIP, bro! I sent a funny message in chat and the mods, uh, the, the streamer VIP'd me! Yippee! Oh, is it getting darker? Nope. Did they get darker on the map for a second? Oh, they did. Why do I feel like a mortis is coming? Why do I feel like I'm about to mortis hard? What, lantern? Part six of the 20 part finale. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine, Chad. We're gonna, it's gonna end. It's not like the game hasn't saved since we picked up this lantern or anything. Really feeling good about that. That was just a bird. No one panic. Purple guy from FNAF. Bird again. Bird second time. 
Can we get a third bird? Uh, back, demon. Oh, it's saved. Thank God. We got three birds and then bird people. Well, it looks like I gotta do something about this. Right on. We just have to follow the path, but it was hard to tell where it was going for a second. Okay, we just go down this way. Down south. Through here. Over yonder. Okay. Up here. Part of the markings up yonder. Bird's dead. And there's another one. There's no point trying to kill him because like a thousand more spawn. All at the same time. So I guess I just ignore him. Cleanse. Save my game now. Save my game right fucking now. It didn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. It did not save my game. I repeat, the game is not saved. I guess I'll, I guess I have to, do I have to do this all in one go? Oh my god. It's cool. It's cool. I game. I game, chat. It's, everything's gonna be fine. Yep. Reset the whole thing, I fucking dare you. Oh, fuck you, devs. Like, alright, now it's getting dumb. Now these checkpoints are getting stupid. I don't know about that. I'm not playing on marathon mode. I just want to see the story. <laughs> the game's just like, don't progress slowly as hard as you can. If I had like any more vision, it would be okay. But like truly, you have about a reaction time of about a half a second before these guys close the gap on you with the distance of this lantern, if you're walking towards them. And that's not a lot. That's not much in the grand scheme. I don't know, the game just feels like it'd be a lot better if it had like just a couple more Generous, thoughtful checkpoints. Keep forgetting, there's no point even- Like, look at that! That one wasn't even on screen! I could've just walked onto that side of the map, like, to leave, and instantly died. Please. Please. You gotta do the last one again. Which means I have to get back without dying. Still. <sighs> I have to like focus so hard. I really don't want to die again. As long as you move quickly, the bird guys don't show up. Okay. That's the 
the center. One more to go. Goes down, I just remembered. Okay, down, 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 down. Okay. We're not getting bothered because I'm sprint. I'm basically sprinting. like just long enough that I feel like I'm gonna get hit doing it okay save my game now save my game now it did I just I'm sorry I'm not talking I just really want to make sure I don't fucking die doing this. Okay. We have one more uh, frame after this one. Yeah, okay. All right. Do you really want to open the door? Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt in my mind, I want to open the door. As fast as I can. How do you make a portal to hell? Sometimes it waits for someone who has already walked through it. Uh. Okay. Sometimes it opens itself inside the best darkness room where nobody can find it. Dude, this guy does not know what riddles are. <laughs> this, this whoever's talking to me right now, Gary, does not know riddles. You want like what walks on four legs, then two, then three. Like, not like. Not if I have this cross up. Not if Jesus is on my fucking side, which he is objectively. Oh, hey, kids. Hey Gary. What's good? Lord, help me. Somebody please help me. That's uh humanity from Dark Souls. Oh, that's God! I hear thee, John, son of man. What dost thou wish, Jesus? This is too much for me. I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. And the girl? I just want to go home. If I leadest thou to safety, her fate shall be sealed upon thine head. Do not care. Just don't care. I'll do whatever you want. Just take me away from here. Swear it. I swear it. Bad ending? Short ending, more like it. <laughs> October 31st, 1987, the profane Sabbath. We got out of there. Ending, ending. My name is Gary Miller. Hey, Gary. So you're the one behind all this. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> 
Whoa. The glasses make him much less intimidating. What will you ask about? Injection or Gary? I only have two things. So I only have two questions. You can keep the last one. Can I get like a coupon for that? Get that traded in for like a Applebee's gift card? What was the injection? Uh, oh, I only get to... Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, it doesn't tell you that in reality, you have one of those two, two options on the screen, not the... Uh, well, I guess I'll ask about the... I guess I'll ask about the boys then. Well, uh, I, in that case, I don't really care about Amy. What's up with the second death? Is what you think is gonna happen. What if I hold spacebar? Did you just on guard me? Uh, hang on, I'm gonna just crawl over and grab that again. I'm good. I have the power of God. You see, Gary, and that's why you can. Fuck. You see, I have the power of God, and that's why you can never defeat me. You can never defeat the power of God. No matter what happens, I believe in Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Blessed be his name. And that's why I know you can't ever defeat me. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many times you throw that trident all the way across the whole map, I'm a tier 5 sub, and I demand respect. I demand respect right now, Gary. I swear to God. You do not want to call out your moves, because or else I'll know what, what they do and get out of the way of them. Like, I knew that was going to rain spiders from vertical down the map. I knew that, because you called it out. Ow, fuck! You hit me with the trident! I pick up my cross. Jesus, I summon you. Gary's losing. Dude, Gary's losing fucking hard. Not even the heart guy could stop me, man. Gary, Gary, Gary. What? Who? <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit, Garcia lived, motherfucker! What just happened? Alright, this is a this is a bait and switch ending chat because you know we still got the bad ending. We blew everything. We fucked up every single part of this. So yeah, Father Garcia is back, but for how long? Really? Give me a real ending. You cannot do this to me. I'd rather a bad ending than you'd be like, it looks like you need to go back. I will defend this place as best I can. 
Alright, well, I'll be right back. Is the game... Wait, so what does it even want me to do? Okay, it's gonna do the whole dialogue again. What does it want me to do now? Okay. There's another way to stop it. All right. I was. I wonder if I ask Jesus. Oh, I don't want any of those thralls to get me, is all. Surely there's some way to stop this nightmare. Oh, I see. Well, Garcia's on the wrong side to protect me. But it looks like the shotgun spread might just keep me alive. Unless he misses. If he misses any of his shots, I'm dead. He's not gonna miss though. He just didn't shoot that time. Okay, I evidently, I can't really count on him to do this. Garcia, please get this one off me. Please kill this guy. Thank you. His aim's not the best. He hit Gary one time. And I really thought, yep. All right, his aim's not. Oh my God, please kill this guy. Thank you. I really don't. I really wish you'd like follow me over here. We've got, we've got the ticklers now, and Garcia is like, I can't even get this guy off of me. Yeah, it's not looking, this isn't looking good unless he can hit one fucking shot on these guys. Okay, big, huge even. Please hit that guy. Owned. Owned. Dropped a big rock on you. Owned. Owned. Hell got crushed by a big rock. Owned. Wow, everyone's dead. Wait, Father Garcia, did you... Kill all these people? How'd you get in here? Wait, hold on. Gary lived. How about you take it easy, father? Well, uh, can we go to McDonald's on the way home, though, please? Can we, like, can we, like, swing by, like, McDonald's? At least. Okay, so overall, I think the Faith games are really good. I really like the aesthetic of these games. I really do quite enjoy them. I think they're super unique. Uh, a lot of my frustrations at the end here uh, were definitely 
somewhat caused by me not feeling well, but also simultaneously uh, some pretty honestly, frankly, I feel like most people would agree. Generally bad checkpointing at the end, which uh, when you've got these things that can kill you on every single level and you have to very slowly move back to where you are and the checkpoints are like before dialogue, before these things you have to slowly redo. Uh, I think it ends up kind of wearing on you when you're doing it all in one sitting because you're just constantly being sent back to stuff you've already seen. So that's kind of like where my issues lie. I don't think this is a bad game at all. I, I may even play through the other endings on my own and check them out. Uh, but I mean like, boy, oh boy, I really wish the checkpoints were a little bit more like smartly placed, I guess is the way I put it. Because there are definitely points where it's like, wow, you're really making me go all the way back through like this stuff when my, when really the movement is so slow deliberately. And I get why it's like that. But if you're going to make the movement that slow, you need to throw the players a bone in another way to not make it totally agonizing to get through it at points, you know? That's where I'm at. But I think a lot of that stuff is obviously fixable. Maybe they will. It wouldn't take a lot to get me to be like, oh yeah, it's fixed. It would just be moving some of the checkpoints like to the end of dialogue, to the end of this thing, or like the end of that, or like this spot here, like very easy stuff. So maybe, either way, I think it's still good. I'm just tired. Anyways, chat, thanks for watching and coming on by. This was the Faith Trilogy. Uh, I didn't actually get as bad of an ending at the end as I thought I was going to, all things considered. I thought I beefed it a lot harder there, but yeah, I had fun. My throat's killing me. I have to do another rapid COVID test and see if I actually have COVID tonight. Uh, cause that kind of decides what's going on with, uh, work the next couple days. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll let you know in the announcements, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, huh? Well, oh, a beep happened. I didn't know if I got in trouble. Uh, okay. Thank you for gifting subs and donating if you did. I really appreciate it, as always. I will be planning on being back tomorrow for another stream at 3 p.m. Probably going to do some Minecraft with the folks. So keep your eyes peeled, all right? I will catch you all tomorrow. Thanks for gifting subs donating. I really appreciate it, as always. See you then. 3 p.m. ish EST. Goodbye.